This is it, Sly. The gang's assembled and are in position to help you get up to that vault. For the rest of the operation, you are the ball. Roger, Bentley. I'm starting my approach. Getting over these fortress walls shouldn't be a problem. Look, we're running five by five here. Make sure everyone's in sync. I hear that. Artillery, sure you can make that shot? I endeavor not to miss. Excellent. Radio control. In position. Recovery team. Our pumps. Submersibles. Showtime, baby. Telekinetics. I die, I die. All right, it's the crime of the century and the ball's in motion. door via Agent Monarch. Over. Launching. Stand clear. I've got visual confirmation on the door. Nice shooting. Be advised, Ball is nearing the lab. Agent Deep Six, you ready? Spear gun loaded. Agent Team 6, deploy! First is down. I'm reading both force fields down. Strong work, Team 6. Every time. How's your wife doing, Richards? Oh, very well, Dr. M. Thank you for asking. Very thoughtful. Mm -hmm. Man, your son, uh, what's his name, Mike? Mark, sir. He, he's well, too, yeah? It's a shame you won't be seeing them again. Ah, uh, sir? Afraid I poisoned your drink at lunch. Sorry, Richards, but I don't tolerate poor performance. You should have changed the security code from one, two, three after you installed the new system. I'll improve, I swear. No, you'll die any second. Oh. 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 Mm. Yes, water leaking into the lab. I'm on my way down. Oh, and get a janitor for the lab elevator. Richard's got sloppy. The Cooper vault is just across these wires. I'm en route to your position for the loot hall. Over. Keeper of the cane. Oh, how I long for this. 
This vault belongs to the Cooper family. You're trespassing. No, my naive boy, you're trespassing. I've got the deed to this island. This fortress is mine. Everything here is mine, which now includes the key to the vault. Hand over the king. Sorry, pal. Family heirloom. Buy a knockoff at the gift shop. Quick, let's regroup with the others. Follow me. Our treasure is mine. It's done for it! This place is flooding! We don't have much time! The tunnel's gonna go! Hurry! We're almost home free! The boat's just up ahead! There's no escape, Koopa! Fly! Get it! Save yourself! If he wants to eat, eat this! they always say, your life really does flash before your eyes. There it all was, stretching back to my childhood. Born into a family of master thieves that went back for generations, I was next in line to continue the Cooper name. But fate had different plans. I was robbed of my childhood when a ruthless gang attacked our home. The orphanage I landed in wasn't all bad. It was there that I met my lifelong friends. Bentley, he's always been the thinker. And Murray, he's the doer. We'd stuck together over the years, and our skill, our confidence, and our thieving reputation grew stronger with each heist. We thought that the good times would never end, and that our luck would never run out. Which only made things tougher when the odds finally caught up with us. Then I met this guy, McSweeney, who claimed to have run with my father's crew back in their heyday. They pulled jobs all over the world and amassed quite a collection of priceless items. It was then that McSweeney told me all about the Cooper Vault. It seemed that my father, like all my ancestors, had been hiding their wealth in a secret place for generations, each one adding to the treasure hidden behind a door that if McSweeney's story is true, only a Cooper can open. Using some well-placed clues provided by McSweeney, we set out for the secret island that held the vault. On arriving, we discovered someone by the name of Dr. M had already set up shop. From the looks of it, he'd been trying to crack the thing for years, growing steadily more frustrated in his failures and more paranoid as the decades rolled by. He built himself a fortress with security as tight as Fort Knox. Getting inside the place would take precision, creativity, and moreover, it would take an army of world-class thieves. Finding and bringing together that much talent won't be easy, but to get inside the Cooper vault and collect my inheritance, I was willing to pay the price. If we're going to 
to make it to the Cooper Vault, we'll need to perfect our thieving skills. I've rigged this place to push us to our limits. I'm guessing these levers start the different trainers. That's right. Each will initiate a streamlined crash course in grand larceny. I'll head for the control room, then we'll get things started. Dish it out. I'm ready. Okay, all great thieves have one thing in common. A ton of cash? No, they never get lost. Use the right analog stick to look around the hazard room. Try to find the Cooper gag marker I projected. Great. Now press down on the L3 button to ping a waypoint. That's handy. I agree. These holographic markers are an invaluable tool for finding your way around in the field. Notice how the logo moves to the destination? Try clicking the L3 button a few more times to get the hang of it. Okay, head to the waypoint and we'll commence phase two. I've programmed in a new mission destination. Press L3 to find it. Perfect. Now everyone knows that a thief's best friend is a rooftop. Provided he doesn't break his neck getting up there. Not a problem for a man with your jumping skills. Hit the X button for a standard jump. Then hit the X button a second time while in the air for an extra high double jump. All right, Bentley, what's next? As you know, it's very useful to survey guards from the rooftops. To do that, we'll have to be able to look down at them. Let me guess, use the right analog stick? Yep, try to find the marker I'm projecting down there. Excellent. Now look up at that pillar. I'm projecting another marker. Great. Now put all these skills to use and get to the remaining waypoints. Should be easy if you ping them with the L3 button and look around. Nice, one down. Good job, Sly. You made it. You're now ready to take on the meanest of navigation tasks. Turner that book. Let's see if you remember them all. Check out those small points on that wire. You can land on them light as a feather using your ninja spire jump. Easy. I just jump and hit the circle button. Exactly. Try getting over to the other platform. Looking good, Sly. You know how I love the second story work. Sure, but how do you feel about tight spaces? Try getting through the small opening in that wall. Hit the circle button when you're close to crawl inside. Nice job, Sly. You're a credit to the Cooper name. underway. Getting inside a world-class vault would take a team of world-class thieves, a group of specialists, each member contributing their own particular talent. It was clear that we needed Murray back. Not only was I missing a lifelong friend, but his brute strength helped get us out of more than a few scrapes in the past. When Bentley was injured during the whole clockwork affair, Murray blamed himself, eventually leaving the team. We tried to console him, but going out on his own was something he needed to do. He said he wanted to find his spiritual center. We got word that Murray ended up in the Australian outback, 
where he studied a mystic art called the dream time from an aboriginal guru. From all accounts, things went pretty well, and his teacher even sent him on a walkabout to locations all over the globe to complete the training. Latest reports have cited Murray in beautiful Venice, Italy, but what he's doing there is a mystery. I just hope he steers clear of the local mob boss, Octavio. Growing up, this guy used to be a real celebrity in the neighborhood. Everyone loved to hear him sing opera and said he was destined to be the next great tenor. But just as his career started to take off, musical tastes changed. Suddenly, it was all about rock music and no one wanted to listen to opera anymore. He held on to a few fans and it was these mobsters that took him into the business. Heading onto this guy's turf was dangerous, but worth it for a chance to make things right with Murray. Given Murray's criminal past, it seems logical to start our search at the local police station. That massive dome marks the Venetian police station. Cops around here really like to make an impression. I'm afraid it's a losing battle. Don Octavio runs the show in this neighborhood. It's his security forces patrolling the streets, not the cops. Noted. Huh. Looks like I found my way inside. Well, that dome is covered in glazed tile. There's no way to climb up there. Oh, come on, pal. There's always a way. Hey, Murray? Is that you? Murray, that name's a stain on my pants, bro. What? Cooper, you got some fuzzy dice to come round here. Dimitri, long time no punch. See you're still in jail. And you still a cracker box. Let's get past the name calling and get to business. Looking for main man Murray, eh? Sorry, but I'd rather see you get past it big time! God! Polizia! Wait! If those cops get their mitts on me, who's gonna break you out of jail? You might get this cell door open, but the cops would throw down and bust me on the way out. And then I'll get the double sentence. Grief! <laughs> How about I get the cops' attention, then run for it? Once they're all outside shooting at me, you can slip out no problem. No, that's a plan I can get behind. Dimitri is free and Cooper is cooked. Key for sale is in head cut lady's office. Okay, great. This other lock won't be a problem. I should be able to crack it by hand. Get me out of here and I'll find Murray. No sweat. Just keep on the down low and out of sight near them coppers, bro. 
They're a bad bunch of bunnies. Your attention, please. I thank you for your patience, but we're now ready for the presentation. As we all know, the canals of Venice have been mysteriously filling with tar for the last month. No one is sure of the cause, but the effects have been devastating on the local wildlife and tourist trade. Our sources believe that this man, Don Octavio, is potentially responsible for the disaster. Unfortunately, we've got no hard evidence linking him to the police. Receive a warrant to search. Nice work. Head back to Dimitri's cell and free him. If he's true to his word, we'll be talking to Murray in no time. Let's get back to business. Now, where was I? Hold tight, boys. The power's on the fritz again. It'll calm down in a few minutes. Better make sure you're under a desk when the lights come back on. You look a lot better in the dark, Petro. Really, you are an ugly, ugly man. <laughs> Make up your mind already. I can see, da! I can see! It's dark. Dark like the grave, huh? <laughs> Can you really crack this coconut? Sure, just takes a light touch. Cool. Let's see some shine, bro. I swear, you spring me, and I'll hook you up with that plump dog, Mary. <laughs> Dig? This safe will be tough to crack, but I've seen you open harder locks. Slowly rotate the left analog stick until you feel a vibration. Stop, then go in the other direction, again feeling for the vibration. Then a reverse direction again, and stop when you get the third vibration. Once the green light goes on... I'll do like I promised, and distract the cops so you can make your escape. Solid. Don't worry, no mind. Straightway our password for Murray to find you. Meet at Rialto Bridge. Big Italian landmark. Okay, guess it's showtime. Hello, assorted meatheads. And lady. Anyone feel like some exercise? Cooper! Grab him, man! And I'm out. Got some serious nerve showing up in my squad room. I was concerned we were growing apart. Then let's spend some quality time together in my interrogation cell. So forward? What happened to the demure girl I used to know? She grew up and stopped taking grief from guys like you. Guys like me? Are you saying I've got some competition for your affections? You're the only man in my sights right now. Inspector Fox! Man, you're in it again! Hope that manhole works both ways. That's right! Hide in the sewers like the rat you are! Thanks for the quick escape. I owe you one. Again. Of course, Searcher. We are all in need of peace. 
You're really whole hog on this Dreamtime stuff, huh? My mind is clear, like the woodland after a forest fire. Listen, Murray, we need you back on the team. That thing with Bentley, it wasn't your fault. He doesn't blame you for the wheelchair. Sorry, Sly. I walk a different path. My guru, in his wisdom, told me to lose myself and not return until the black water ran pure. So here I stay. You sure he didn't tell you to get lost and not come back until you cleaned out the water filter? Come on! I'm on a real spirit quest here! Sorry. Sorry. Tell me everything. I've missed you, pal. Well, it's a long and awesome story. You got any gum? Murray refuses to join the gang until the commitment to his guru has been fulfilled. Whether we like it or not, we've got to deal with Venice's tar problems in order to, as Murray puts it, make the black water run pure. Thanks to Inspector Fox's fine detective work, we already know that Don Octavio is somehow connected. As non-law operatives, we'll be able to tackle this situation in a more head-on fashion. First, we break into Octavio's opera house. If he's hiding anything, we'll find it. We should also keep a close eye on the dog. Some photographic evidence of him connected to the tar might be enough to get the old mobster put away. Of course, meanwhile, I'll monitor local communication frequencies. With some luck, we might pick up some quality intel. Nice place. Sure to be a few coins laying around in there. What's the plan? If you could get me inside to one of Octavio's computers, I should be able to hack his firewall and get the dirt on his operation. Okay, have you got a point of entry? I'm guessing the front door's not the safest option. That wooden hatch appears to be an ideal way to slip in undetected. Head down there and we'll meet up in a few minutes. Octavio is known to rely on 3D technology to secure his property. In order to see the security measures, we'll need to utilize these depth optimizer goggles. Functional and fashionable. Nice touch, Bentley. To open this door, we'll need to press the 3D security buttons at exactly the same time. Okay? On my three. One, two, three! Nice! Looks like Octavio is fond of this 3D synchronized security system. Let's do it. One, two, three. All right.
Drat! My booster won't be enough to make it to that next door. I've made a number of improvements to my wheelchair, but none that can float me through this canal. Don't worry about it, pal. I'm sure I'll find a way across. And there seem to be plenty of boats hanging around to make a nice bridge for you. Okay, I'll wait for your signal. levels are at all a time high. However, it saddens me to report that some of you haven't been keeping in time with the orchestra. You know what I mean. I'd like to see Marco, Raphael, and Julius in the main vacuum room immediately. We're gonna discuss your retirement package. And if any of you got these boys, make a run for it. Well, shoot them in the back. Thanks for the assist, Sly. Maybe I can return the favor with some well-placed explosives. Okay, stand back. Thanks, pal. door is made of four inch thick bulletproof plexiglass. My bombs won't make a dent. See if you can find a way around it through that ventilation shaft. This room's empty. Crawl a little farther. They've got to have a lock switch somewhere. Nice of you do to stop by for a little fatherly advice. Julius made a rock for it and Thanks, pal. Judging from the security, we must be getting close. It's live! and one, two, three! We're in! Yep, 
Yes, a Wurlitzer 700! I can splice into this easy! Just as long as you're enjoying yourself, that's the important thing. Aside from a few tense moments, that break-in seemed to go pretty well. It's not over yet. Hack the system and let's get out of here. Oh, it'll be a snap extracting the details on Octavio's operation from this old dinosaur. What? A delay switch? Sorry, Sly. Guess the dinosaur has teeth. I'll hack as fast as I can. Watch my back. There are sure to be guards on the way. He told us. can find out exactly what Octavio is up to. from one of Octavio's men. The Don is moving towards your position. Great. You want me to take him? No. We need evidence that he's behind this city's tar epidemic. With some incriminating photos, we might be able to help the cops prosecute him and put an end to this nonsense. Never thought we'd be helping out the cops. Really? You always seem eager to aid Inspector Fox. Yeah, well, she's different. Your average law enforcer isn't that... I don't know... Attractive? Hold up, here he comes. That's despicable. Get a picture before he finishes. This is perfect. Use your binoculars to take photos. Excellent. A few more of these and the cops will bury this guy. Follow him. He might be headed for some more polluting. Mi fa sul latino, dotar la sofa mi redo.
a switch but there's no tar anywhere yet get a photo anyway Hey, Samir, get that engineer on the horn. Sly, see if you can latch on to the car Octavio is riding in. We should eavesdrop on his phone conversation. From the look on his face, it seems important. Listen, Giovanni. This Ferris wheel was a good idea. She's a pump on the tar fast, and nobody, but nobody suspects a thing. But still, is it gonna be enough to get things ready for my opera recital? Bella, when the people come to see me sing, I want to make a show. They keep a coming, even if they don't feel like it. One way or the other, there'll be opera fans again. Hey, 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 hey. Okay, see you soon. That thief! He's twisted a time-honored amusement park ride into a tool for wrongdoing! Break open the control panel with your cane. I'm on my way to do a little rewiring. Look away if you must. You're about to witness the dark side of electrical engineering. Kill a bunch of poor innocent fish, will he? That'll do it.
Hey, Sly, you better get over here. My sources tell me that Octavio has hired the Blue Viper Gondola Gang to take out Carmelita. The Blue Vipers? Those guys are nasty. We've got to get to them before they get to her. She's off on her daily patrol. The thugs can't be far behind. On my way. Just make sure to have one of those police boats hotwired by the time I get there. Let's see. Just cross the blue wire with the red wire and shazam! Just in time. There go the vipers. I'll shoot. You drive, Sly. This canal is packed with shipping. Make sure to jump and leave or we're... Sorry, Sly. My gun overheated. Guess I should use short burst. Bentley. Way to go. That's the end of the Blue Vipers. Another uneventful patrol. This city's beautiful, but a bit quiet for my taste. I hope you realize that by saving Carmelita, we're only making our operation here more difficult. Maybe so, but what's the fun in stealing if there's nobody trying to catch you? Besides, she's helped us out in the past. That, and you've got a thing for her. And I've got a thing for her. Look. I'll stash this boat. It might be useful for later. You stay out of trouble. So, according to these decrypted files, Octavio is pumping tar from underneath the foundations of buildings so he can sink them into the canals on a whim. He's going to demonstrate this destructive ability to the people of Venice during his opera recital on the first day of Carnival. To counter this threat, we'll first destroy the balloons inside, advertising the recital. If no one shows up, he'll have no reason to sink a building. Next, the blueprints to the main tar vacuum have been cleverly split into three parts and hidden in local coffee houses owned by Octavia. Unfortunately, they're under constant guard so you'll need to use a disguise to get us inside. Also, some big Vincennetti goons have been called in as insurance for the recital. Given their size, I think it's prudent to fool Carmelita's eight mercenaries into taking them out for us. And finally, we'll have to convince Murray into taking to the field. If he's learned the aboriginal ball form, it'll be just the thing for destroying the local tar reservoirs.
Sly said you were looking for me? We need your help to destroy some tar drums. I'm done with all that. I found a new path. It's full of peacefulness. Come on, what happened to the Murray? The guy who'd get into a fist fight with ten thugs wearing nothing but a towel. The guy who used to punch first and not bother asking questions later. Where's that guy? Where's my old friend? I, I'm sorry, Bentley. I, I tried to save you, but I just wasn't strong enough. Get over it, Murray. I don't blame you and never have. The only thing I feel bad about is losing my pal. Look, I want to help you. You're like my second best friend. It's just that I promised I'd stay here and peacefully meditate till the black water ran pure. Well, what if you could help us peacefully? You wouldn't have to punch anyone. I'm in. Keep it peaceful, and I'll smash up anything you'd like. As a student of the Australian Dreamtime, I'm sure you've learned of the ball form? Yeah, sure, like my first week. Excellent. Tuck into ball form and clog that vent pipe. The pressure buildup should shoot you skyward. Maintain your ball form and smash into the tar drums around town. Awesome. Yeah, that's totally peaceful. I'm sure my guru wouldn't mind. Press the L1 button to go into ball form. Hit the X button on impact to keep your bounces high. I'm projecting some markers to help you find the tar drums. Nice work, Peace Bogger. That's one tar drum down the drain. Big Time Air! This is great, Murray. Those tar drums are an integral part of Octavio's scheme. With them out of the picture, you're that much closer to seeing the black water run clear. I promise. Whoosh! Superb bouncing, chum. the hang of hang time, that tar drum didn't know what hit it. Uh, in a peaceful sense, of course. will send a thank you card. Really nice work, Murray. It's a pleasure to see you back in action. Yeah, well, I haven't forgotten who my friends are. I'm just playing with a different deck. Bentley, looks like you found one of Octavio's Vincenetti goons. You on your way to the police station for the old bait and switch? Yeah, he's following.
me. I'm too close for comfort. You gotta move! Now to get those mercenary apes involved. Hey, uh, all you fake cops, go home. Uh, we don't need no more stupid dogs in Venezia. I might not be a real cop, but I've got feelings, pal. And you've just hurt them. You talking to me, fruitcake? Cause I don't need a day. Eat missile, punk. This was a good plan, Bentley. Now we can just sit back and watch the fireworks. Thank you. I pride myself on deviousness these days. With her ape guard under fire, there's a 93% chance that Carmelita will arrive and take out the entire Vincenetti gang. Devious. Inspector Fox, I'm glad to see you. This Vincenetti puke is giving me all I can handle. Stand your ground, soldier. We'll take them together. Give it to him. Can't take much more. Quality marksmanship. Keep it up, Inspector Fox. Inspector Fox, I have been down in Sector 4. Please to help me. Mercenaries, you fought with honor and distinction. I'm proud of you. station in three parts. Each is cleverly hidden behind a painting inside one of his legit coffee houses. 
Not very subtle, posting a full-time guard in front of a coffee house. Since we destroyed his Ferris wheel, he's gone all out on the security. In fact, he's got all his guards checking up on each other. If we're going to get inside and at the blueprints, we can't raise any suspicion. I'm with you. I'll approach the guard while in disguise and pretend to take the next shift. When the coast is clear, you head inside and swipe the blueprints. With me standing out front, no one will know that something's up. Your disguise can be assigned as a power-up. When hailed by guards, make sure to memorize their passwords and say them back in a timely fashion. Take too long or mess it up, and he'll know you're a phony. Hey, you! Ferris wheel password, quickly! Uh, yep, here it is. Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Okay, okay, I guess you're the relief shift. Thanks for coming early. I got a big plans for tonight. Carnival, good times, eh? I can't believe that worked! You've got the worst Italian accent I've ever heard! No offense. Head inside and grab the blueprints. No telling how long till another patrol comes by. First coffee house I've ever seen with wall-to-wall -wall laser security. Octavio really is old school if he's using a painting safe. My father used to crack these all the time. The trick here is finding the safe's combination hidden somewhere in the artwork. Might take some searching, but it's sure to be there. Just keep at it. Strong work. We're still clear up front. I'll meet you at the next coffee shop. Once you take the guard's post, I'll move in. Second verse, same as the first. Halt! Ferris wheel password, quickly! Got it, here it is. Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Okay. You there! What was last night's password? Here's the password, Sly. Alto, tenor, tenor, alto. Yep. Oh, am I glad you're here. Mom is making spaghetti tonight and I'm starving. I'm gonna eat like three, no, four plates of food. I guess that you really like a cooking. Mamma mia, I want to be buried in her sauce. It's a heaven. Any problems with that guy? Said he wanted to be buried in his mom's pasta sauce. Yeah. That's, uh... That's strange. You know, I just can't get it out of my head. Have you ever had pasta sauce that tasty? I don't want to distract you or anything, but I just don't think I've ever had cooking that good. Are we, like, missing out on a whole universe of flavors here?
Two out of three. Almost there, partner. You know, maybe there's a good Italian restaurant around here. Enough with the sauce! Keep your focus, we're on a job here! Thugs everywhere, death around every corner! You're right, we got one more coffee house to hit, then we're done. Yes, now you're talking sense! And then, we eat. Halt! Tell me the daytime password. Got it. Here it is. Alto, alto, base, base. Okay. Yeah, you know the code, but what's my nickname? <laughs> There's only one Tony B on the payroll, and I'm famous in the family. I'm a new. Just got called in from Roma. They know me in Rome. I'm practically the mayor of organized crime in Rome. You telling me you never heard my nickname there? Uh, my cell phones are going off. I should take this call. Could be the boss. Yeah, okay. Talk to some of the other guards in the area and see if any of them know Tony B's nickname. You there! What's the midnight password? Easy one, here you go. Alto base, alto, alto. Yep. Okay, you're legit. Hey, you know Tony B's nickname? Tony B? That cannoli, he's a, what's it called, a, a egomaniac. I don't know nothing about him. Don't wanna know. What was last night's password? Sending password now. Alto, tenor, tenor, alto. Sorry about that. Yep, that's the password. Sometimes I forget them, you know. You and me are both, pal. Hey, uh, you know what the Tony B's nickname is? <laughs> yeah, that fat head likes to call himself Tony the Killer B. What an idiot. I couldn't agree more. Nice job getting the nickname. You're real. Oh, you there. Give me the cafe password. Transmitting password. Bass, bass, bass soprano? Okay. So, big shot, what's my nickname? Oh, come on. Everyone's a herd of Tony the Killer Bia. You're the terror of every player grounder from here at the Sicily. <laughs> Real funny. Least I'm not on guard duty during Carnival. Who's got the last laugh now, tough guy? <laughs> Me, that's who. Don't take too long. If that guy comes back to chat, I'm out of here. skill with this art decryption medley. It always takes me like 20 minutes to figure those things out. You're just flying through them.
Get out of there. It must have been rigged to an alarm. We need to hide out back in the safe house. That alarm is attracting all kinds of guards. Agree. We've got the blueprints to the tar vacuum. Our work here is done. Let's go, Bentley. We need to get back to the safe house. Ah, the safety of the safe house. I've taken over this Carnival fireworks stand as a base of operations for our next job. We need to take out the side and balloons advertising Octavio's big comeback opera recital. I hear ya. If no one shows up for him to extort with his building sinking scheme, then why would he bother with the demonstration? Excavating all that tar seems like a big operation. You'd think he'd hold off until he had an audience. Exactly. Now, I've cobbled together a few explosives powerful enough to destroy the anchors to those balloons. Unfortunately, I'm a little short on fuses. Then, I'll be quick. Place dynamite when you get near the anchor, or kaboom! Raccoon parts everywhere! One less ad polluting the Venetian skyline. Head on back to the fireworks stand. I've got another stick of TNT ready, and the wind's blowing in the right direction for stage two of our assault. That explosive had some kick. It was a child compared to this ferocious beast. Don't dilly-dally with this one. It's got a longer fuse, but you've got farther to run. Ferocious beast? Run, Sly, run! Fear the beast! Drat and curses! The wind died! The balloons caught! 
Sorry, pal. See if you can climb up and knock the balloon free. I'll start putting together another explosive for the side. Such a shame. I was really looking forward to seeing that balloon burn. Fascinating chemical reaction. side picked up those pictures of me you sent to the cops. Nice a try, but I own this a town. Put my friend down, or I'm gonna knock out all of your teeth one at a time and make you eat them. Hoo hoo hoo! That's the toughest talker you got! You're pathetic! Back in my day, we had enforcers that would make people pee their pants just as soon as a look at them. Believe me, old timer. I don't make idle threats. Oh, I know all about you and your cracked little gang. You ain't nothing without these little guys' brains. So, I figure I'll just scoop them out real slow and use them to fertilize my tomato plants. I'm allergic to tomatoes. Slide! Very engaged. Crank it up. It on. Let go of me, you geriatric fiend! Shut up and hold still! Power up! I swear I'll get you for this! You won't get nothing but a grave, pal! Sly, hurry it up! Pipe it down, lunch meat! Shotgun! You want this rant? Take him! I won't forget about this! You guys are dead! You okay, Bentley? I'm fine. My ego's bruised, but it'll heal. Well, Octavio's comeback opera recital just a few hours away, we're all set up for the main event. Get ready for Operation Tar Be Gone. Our objective, get Murray back on the team. Sly, you'll start things off by using your disguise to sneak into the opera house. Make your way down to the pump room and let me in through the side entrance. Thanks to the blueprints we stole, I now know just where to bomb to cripple the machinery. Then we'll go for Octavio's detonation switch. 
I'm sure you'd agree that we just can't leave a weapon that powerful in the hands of such a madman. So I'll distract the old mobster with an opera duel. He's sure not to attack while we're both on stage. Meanwhile, you'll cut the lines to the chandelier and drop it on his head. I'll swipe the switch and we'll both find Murray. By then, the black water is sure to be running clear and he'll be free to come with us. for the opera recital in just a few minutes. We did a good job taking out the advertising. No one's shown up to listen. No audience means no demolition demonstration. True, but to finish the job, we'll need to take out the main tar vacuum. Use your disguise to gain entry to the opera house. Then head down to the pump room and let me in through the side door. No problem, signore. Halt! Ferris wheel password! Quickly! Uploading you the password! Soprano, alto, alto, soprano. Okay. Don't be long inside. The boss's opera recital is about to start. Stay in disguise here or the operation's a bust. Halt! What's Octavio's house password? Here's the password, Sly. Tenor soprano, tenor soprano? Yep. This recital is gonna be a drag. Between you and me, I hate opera. Hey, you! Vacuum room password? Got it. Here it is. Soprano, soprano, bass, bass. Okay. The boss has been practicing for months for this day. He sings a great. Drat! A double button door! I, I, I'll think of something. Just give me time. You! I don't recognize you. What's the secret soprano password? Sending password now. Tenor base, tenor, tenor. Okay. Pass a word to the rest of the guys that under no circumstances am I to be disturbed during my big comeback recital. Yes, sir. I'm certainly looking forward to the performance. Once I'm done in the pump room, I'll be headed out to the stage. Um, if it isn't too much trouble, would you help me with this double button security door? But of course. For a fellow musical lover, it would be a pleasure. On three. One, two, three! Be quick in there, you won't want to miss out. <laughs> Psst, Sly! Sly! All over here! Nice to see you, pal. Okay, we need to act quickly while the recital is getting underway. You ready with the bombs? Once I've destroyed all six tar pipes, the vacuum should start to lose suction. Look, if those bombs attract any guards, let me do the fighting. You just focus on taking out the tar pipes. We need to stay on schedule. Looks tough. Might take some more bombs. We've got company. Just stay on those tar pipes. This could get hairy. This is getting serious. 
Better hurry it up with those pipes. Nice work, partner. Is there still time to catch Octavio's recital? We're right on schedule. If my calculations are correct, he should be about to perform an aria originally written as a duet. That's when we strike. Think he'll really let you on stage with him? Of course, he's a musician. He'll be overjoyed to have a lyrical counterpoint. Just be ready to drop the chandelier when I've lured him underneath. Ah, Mr. Tomato for Eliza. You got a death wish? I couldn't resist showing you up at what you treasure most. Opera singing. You're a vocalist. Fine. A duet is coming up. We'll sing it first, and then I'll gut you. Bring it on, Grandpa. I'll sing you under the table. Poseidon is over. He still got the demolition switch. They never ever freeze. I'll drive. You shoot. I need immediate pickup. Criminals are headed east. All units converge. Roger. Sorry, Cooper. This time I've got you surrounded. Can you go any faster? 
This is it. Shoot out his engine and we'll have him. The canal is full of cops. We're in big trouble here. Talker. All right, I did double that and open fire on the criminals. No, nobody else sings like that. Not nobody. Pour it on, Bentley. Yes! He's out of control. Get ready for a sudden stop. No! More to the left, you idiot! We are gonna crash! It's over, Octavio. You're beat. Give us the demolition switch and we'll all try to ditch these cops. You chasing me for this? Fine, the big shot. It took me six months to prepare this thing. But what the hell? I got more where this came from. You guys see that boat go out of control and jump and smash into that thing? Destruction! So cool! You think that was a cool punk? <laughs> <laughs> you monster! Stop it! Stop it! Murray, I need your help. I've never seen someone move that fast. Octavio's old, but he's still got it. Let's take him together. But! But! I vouch my guru that I'd renounce all violence! And the water is still black! It'll be clear any minute. Trust me. Now, let's take him. You're right to be scared, Hippo. Your wheelchair friend should have been so smart. Murray! Help! That does it! I'll floss my teeth with your spine! The Murray returns! He's too fast. Lure him into the tar pool. That should slow him down. It's dry. I'll unlock the next one. Draw him in. I'll let loose with the tar. Moving to the next tar valve. The tar is ready to flow. Murray, these pumps are out of tar. I saw some more valves over by the cop station. Follow me to a fresh supply. 
without the tar, I'll crush you boys like a bugs! You may have more tar, but I'm not holding back no longer! Listen to the song of your death! The Murray knows no song but the triumphant horn section of his own triumph! Quit talking, a stupid kid, and die! empty. I'll crack another. The tar is ready to flow. Eight. The old guard's out, and a new generation steps in. That's right! Stepping in! Big time! Come on, Murray. I got the demolition switch. Let's get Bentley and run for it. We got cops closing in. With the fight over, we went back and scraped Bentley off the pavement. It was touch and go for a while there, but we managed to sneak out right under Carmelita's nose. Octavio wasn't so lucky. The guy got 30 years behind bars for what he did to Venice. I guess Italians don't like it when you sink their landmarks. Ironically, he found success as a singer while in jail. After all, most of his old fan base was already in the clink. But the big score here was bringing our old pal back into the gang. Once he put on those gloves and that mask, it was clear to everyone, most of all him, that the Murray had returned. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his dreamtime training, he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings, and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. 
If even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the guru was nowhere to be seen. have really tore this place up looking for opals. Watch your step, they're sure to get rough defending their claim. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave. Overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable, Sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru was fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! 
Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. It's tough to say, but given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the Guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. You must be the Guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayer's Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased and the Guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage through one of the miners' caves that should make getting up to the Guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had foolishly unearthed the Mask of Dark Earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. again, but he's requested that you and I pay him a visit individually. If it wasn't for the Guru, I wouldn't be the Murray you see before you today. I'm just not too sure he'll be pleased with my progress as a mystic. What are you talking about? You used the Aboriginal ball form to great effect back in Venice. He'll be proud of you. Maybe, but I lost my temper and got in a fight with Octavio. To help me? I'm sure the Guru is happy to see friends sticking up for each other. Head into this cave. It'll take you right up to him. Okay, Bentley. Caves ahoy! Whoa! 
hydraulic flow chart, the door ahead appears to be sealed shut. Then I'll just bash it in! What's, What's the, the good of having fists if you can't smack steel doors with them? It's too thick, even for you. No, to get through, we'll have to overload the pressure in this piston. You want me to punch it? I can do that. Use your aboriginal ball form to bounce on top of the piston and smash it down. Build up enough hydraulic pressure, and the door is sure to open. Piston, beware! You're about to be bounced! Sucker! One and I still took you piston chumps to school! Whoa! Look at the size of that guy! He must be jacked up by that mask of dark earth the guru was warning us about! Curious, it seems to make the wearer much larger. Probably more aggressive, too. I can take him! My righteous quest! To see the guru won't be stopped by some big stupid freak in a mask! Even if you won, you'd have nowhere to go. The door through has an electric deadbolt. This whole area runs off the same circuit. Even the drills are linked up. Then I'll throw this clown into the drills! That might break the circuit! Give it a try! One drill down, two to go! 
Ryback can run! Why can't do that? Intriguing. Press on to the Guru. He'll have some answers. The door should be unlocked now that the drill circuit is broken. Open up! I have returned, my master. The black water now runs clear. I'd like to... I am asking... Oh, man. Yeah! I want to join back up with my friends, and, uh... We're hoping you'd come along, too? Babaji? You'd love it in the gang. We have all kinds of fun. Miners, gyrocopters, and a mask of dark earth. Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. But we'll help you, I promise. Thanks, Guru. I'm happy to see you, too. Murray, let's motor out to Ayers Rock and scare away those mining dingoes. Your guru wants it purified. Awesome! This is the biggest truck I've ever gotten to drive! I could crush houses with this baby! Okay, Bentley, you've got my interest. Though it looks like I may have to take care of a few guards if I'm gonna get at those drill controls. Defeat the guards and start the drill. Then Murray can begin phase two of my plan. Scorpions with a truck! The vehicle is equipped with a supercharged e-brake, which, if pulled with moving, will cause a forward flip. Time it correctly, and you'll trap a scorpion in the mining that's built into the bed of the truck. Okay, Benley, bring on the scorpions! Not so fast. The truck's tires will heat up quickly in this blazing hot sand. You'll have to cool them down by driving into the water or running over scorpions. Watch your heat meter to make sure they don't melt. And remember, we're only interested in the red soldier scorpions. The blue worker scorpions won't help us scare the miners off. The truck controls are straightforward. Hold the X button to go forward and the square button to drive it. Nice work. Looks like more are being driven to the surface. There's no escape from the Murray! Yeah! That's fine! 
My sensors are showing a drop-off in underground movement. We'll have to drill deeper to keep the scorpions coming out. Sly, you'll have to climb to the top of the drill tower and override the depth control system. Okay, Bentley. I'm on my way.
torturing the guru, the dingoes confiscated his magic walking staff and moonstone. Without these objects, the guru is powerless. Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stashed the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a secure location with plenty of guys on duty to provide protection. I agree. The most likely candidate is this mine shaft. It appears to have the highest number of workers coming in and out. Good place to start. I'm on it. Those caves are gonna be dark. Your optimizer goggles will make navigation easier. If they're here, the Guru's items will be stashed at the far end of this cave. Time to take you back to your rightful owner. These miners are smarter than they look. They booby trapped the moonstone. It looks like a light sensitive detonator. If I can get it outside and into the sunlight, it should power down.
wonder what's so special about this staff. Another booby trap for a stick? These guys are paranoid. And from the sound of it, they've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. the stone. Murray has purified Ayers Rock, and now I humbly deliver your walking stick and moonstone. The time for escape has come. Ooh, Thank you, you're too kind. But tell me, how do you plan to escape? Gadzooks! You can transform yourself! Why, once you change shape, a guard is sure to come inside and investigate! Hey, I've a Honda. I've a Honda. <laughs> Too true. Wait, here comes a guard. Master, hold down the L1 button to transform. What? Where'd he go? Master, you're the greatest! That jump will oh? ram him into the cell door! Awesomeness! Let's show these miners who's boss. Head for the drills. I guess Bentley's found a weak spot. What the? 
credits are impressive, Guru. Harvey de Sierra. Uh huh, yeah. Hasasang Hibabai Hina. I hear you. Those drills are tearing up the landscape. They appear to be fragile at the base. Ram a guard into it, and the whole apparatus should break apart. Harvey de Sierra. Oh, yeah, some things never change. I know, it's awful. However, the linked generator is weak, easily destroyed, provided you can jump a few guards over there and ram it. Ah, what do I? Agreed to join our team, provided we can rid his homeland of the Dingo Miners and deal with the Mask of Dark Earth. A tall order, but we're up for it. First, we'll enlist the aid of some local wildlife to help fit out the Miners' ranks. Murray will feed our bows to a local giant crocodile. With some luck, he'll take a liking to the taste of Miners and chow down on them left and right. Second, we'll hit these guys where they live. 
or at least relax. If we can clear them out of this lemonade bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll be begging to go home. And finally, Sly will use some mining equipment to drill for radioactive oil deep beneath the dried lake bed. Trust me, it's the key to getting rid of the Mask of Dark Earth. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh yeah! Bentley said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down! Sounds like your thing. Y-E-S, yeah! We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bentley. Wouldn't dream of it. stations while Murray gets all six oil wells flowing. Use this Super Claw 10,000 to deal with any miners that might show up. Use the left analog stick to move the claw around. The X button will pick up and release items. Before you're spotted, why don't you pick up that rock and drop it in the pit? This is easy. You do seem quite adept. The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You can throw things quite a ways. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. Face it, Bentley. I'm a natural. Hope you're right, cause it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Here they come! Thank <laughs> you. 
should draw the deep uranium and rich glowing oil to the surface. We'll need to be extremely careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! Look at me! I'm glowing! Woo!
right, boys. Look tough and get angry. It's time to intimidate the locals. I'm not sure I can do it. How do you guys get angry? Find the match deep inside yourself. Light it and let the fire burn up your guts and boil your blood. Uh, yeah, I pretty much do the same thing. Look, our goal is to drive away these miners and we'll do whatever it takes. Listen up, dirtbags. Time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang turf. Tough took, wagga. But you ain't got no respect with us. We here are known around these parts for our drinking skills. And this just happens to be a lemonade bar. Sly, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. If a lemonade drinking challenge is what you had in mind, then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you've got. Fair dinkum. Losers have to clear out. Ready, steady, go! Aha! Waterfall in your throat! Savor the flavor! Steady on! Chug, oh look! Steady! <laughs> you can do it! Focus! Woohoo! Yes! Guzzle, guzzle, guzzle! Chug a one! Chug a one! Come on, man! <laughs> Tiplin' Fraga! Suck it down! Good on ya! We win! That's cheating! Why, the two of us spill more than he drank! Around here there's only one thing we do with cheaters. Turn on the fence, Bruce! It's time we gave these cheaters a beating!
to him, pal. Nice work, big guy. Yes! The Cooper Gang rules the roost. We're the kings of the hill. The totally maxed out heavyweight champions. Those guys won't be coming back here anytime soon. Um, guys, looks like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take this guy down. That mask has a powerful force in it. Lead him over my bomb and I'll pull get him while he's dazed. <laughs> That guy was... the mask. It's getting away? We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask is sure to keep making trouble for us. We need to destroy it. We subtracted a few miners from the equation. You know I don't understand that math talk. Uh, we need to uh, uh, put the smack down. 
on these uh, uh, bad dudes for justice. Righteous! I'm the man for the job! The guru will start luring miners to a position near this giant crocodile. Your job is to throw the thugs into the mouth of the monster. Teach him to like eating miners, huh? That's a sinister plan, Bentley. I approve. With some luck, the oversized reptile will be an invaluable asset in our efforts to drive away the miners. He might even take care of our Mask of Dark Earth problems. I've spotted it prowling near the safe house. Roger! It's feeding time! Hi-yi-yi! of the moon spirit. So, given Murray's moon shape, we'll coat him in the glowing oil and have him pose as the spirit. We'll then dangle him from the crane. The mask is sure to spot his ancient foe and come running. That's when we'll strike. Murray, thunderflop off the crane and obliterate that mask. With the mask destroyed and the miners run off, the guru will be free to join the team for the Cooper Vault job. Join the team, 
But we need your help to destroy the Mask of Dark Earth. Hi, Yahoo. Your objective is to take out the gyrocopter while it's refueling. Huh, I know. Glad to hear you're up to it. The bad news is the gyrocopter has a sensor that can detect your moonstone. I suspect that's how they found and trapped you earlier. Get too close and they'll detect you, then take off out of reach. For this job, you'll need to run guards toward it and then jump off early before it senses you. Ram a few guards into that thing and it's sure to fall apart. Keep an eye out for the mask. It's sure to take the bait. We got a situation here, fellas. Looks like Carmelita finally managed to catch up. Drat! We can't stop the operation now. We'll just have to give her a wide berth. Roger, applying wide berth. Quit horsing around and look out for the mask. It's close. I can feel it. Here I come, Master! Did you get it? Is the mask gone? Sly, can you see? Can't tell from here. I'll move in. Cooper, thought I'd find you here. Carmelita, if I uh, got a little something on your face. It's not nice to make fun of a girl's looks. Maybe I should smash you! Now, that's not nice. Bentley, could use a little help. How about putting a few of your sleep darts in Carmelarja here? They will pry off the mask.
Finally, the darts are starting to kick in! Or not! The chemicals in my darts must somehow be interacting with the mask to make her even bigger! Whoa, you're not kidding, Bentley. She's getting gigantic! Everyone head for the big truck. We've got to get some distance between her and us. She might shrink back down with time. Time to stop running and deal with the real problem. Pry off that mask of Dark Earth and maybe we'll get back the Carmelita we all know and love. I do not love her! Okay, not the point. It's all about taking off that mask. We gotta find a way up there. You're the climber, and I'm sure you've always wanted to get closer to her. Can't get much closer than climbing up her boot laces. That's not a crazy idea. Oh yeah, it's crazy! You got a better idea? Yeah! But we'd need a giant fighting robot! Sorry, I'm gonna have to go with the bootlace plan. Watch out! Carmelita's troops are en route! You're in luck! Looks like each side of the mask is latched on with only one hook! Maybe if you hug off it, she'd swat you away and knock it off!
Carmelita just lay there, unconscious, helpless on the desert floor. Being gentlemen, we kept watch over her throughout the night. Her camera proved to be a real source of entertainment as we took turns posing. Didn't want her to go home empty-handed. Morning broke, and we got a clear view of the landscape. It was beautiful, empty of the miners that had been digging and drilling into the sacred place. The moment was broken as Carmelita began to stir, and we prepared for another quick exit. Only this time, it wasn't just the three of us. For the first time in Cooper gang history, we picked up a new member, and the team would never be the same. Bentley was obsessed. Every night he'd pour over the blueprints to Dr. M's fortress, looking for a way to get into the Cooper vault. He soon came to the conclusion that there was no way inside unless the gang picked up a dedicated RC specialist. An expert who had mechanical and piloting skills far exceeding his own. After weeks of searching techie chat rooms, he finally found someone who could keep up with him intellectually. A gearhead genius out of Holland named Penelope. She politely declined our invitation to join the team, saying she only works for the best. Apparently, her idea of the best was her boss, the Black Baron. A big time dogfighting champ up there in Holland. He's so good that he's even set up an international competition called Aces to attract worthy opponents. A few days later, she sent us a counter offer. If our gang could manage to beat the Black Baron at his own game, then she'd know we weren't just a pack of jokers, and therefore, worth her time. So, we got busy. With no time to lose, Bentley and Murray worked to put a plane together, while I got my pilot license the fastest way possible. We'd prove to this Penelope that the Cooper gang was up for the challenge, even if we were making it all up as we went along. competition we all need to learn who we're flying against what they keep the flight roster a secret correct 
In years past, competitors would go out at night and sabotage each other's planes in preparation for the next day's dogfight. I get it. So now they keep the lineup a secret and no one knows who to mess with. Precisely. Looks like you're a good pilot, but we've only got one plane and you'll be up there against dozens of bogeys. You know, normally I'd make some sarcastic remark about how overwhelmed I am by your confidence in me, but those are some grim odds. And, well, you know, I'm always up for some sabotage. Glad to hear it. Now, the roster is kept secret from the pilots, but not from the event staff. Do we have a mole on the inside? Our friend, Dimitri, has been hired to give color commentary during the dogfights. He'll know where the roster's hidden. Scout about somewhere in the hotel lobby, but be careful. If you start a fight with the other pilots, we'll be kicked out of the competition. Sure, we all play nice until tomorrow. Then we blow each other to bits at 300 feet. Dimitri, funny seeing you here. Never pegged you as a flyboy. Like a dance floor with many lights, I have many profiles. Dig? Don't even try to understand the silky enigma of Dimitri. Bentley seemed to think you might have a copy of the Aces flight lineup. That true? And why should I talk to a two-bit Rudy Poot cracker box like you? Question mark in bold. Why? We both know you're gonna tell me. You wouldn't have bothered showing up if you didn't want to talk. So, spill it. I know, but to talk is like sitting on a electric chair. The Baron has eyes, eyes and ears, ears and fists. Dimitri will be discovered and the jig is pinched. Come on now, Dimitri. A man like you can deal with this Black Baron. You've got the best fashion sense of anyone I know. Le fashion? Style? You, you're right. If I cannot dress him, I can certainly outsmart him. All is told through clothes. Okay, I'll talk a flight lineup if you agree to owe Dimitri a favor, which I'll collect in a few months of time. A favor? There's no small time favor like, will you water my fish or feed my plant? No way, bro! This old school mafia blood pack favor, like movies, <gasps> big time! Okay, Dimitri, hook me up with the flight roster and we'll owe you one. Done! <laughs> the bargain she has struck! To find flight roster, look behind one of the tacky paintings in Black Baron's air hangar. It's hidden in secret safe. Art decryption lock, huh? I know just the guy for the job. Huh? Stand cool. Here comes Big Cheese. I bid you all a most flamboyant welcome, my esteemed comrades of the skies. Welcome, welcome to another year of the Aces competition. We've got teams here from across the globe. Canada, Belgium, Ecuador, Iceland, Korea, and many, many more. Not the least of which is last year's deadly runner-up, Team Mugshot. This time we're gonna drill you jokers full of holes. Now, we all know that in years past, some teams have engaged in a little good-natured late-night hygiene. <laughs> Like when Team Canada stole Ecuador's parachutes! Or when Team Iceland saw the landing gear off Korea's planes! <laughs> or when Portugal put rat poison in Team Mugshot's coffee machine! Yes, yes, that was all so very funny, but no more! Who knew the rules? No one, absolutely no one, is to leave the hotel after sunset! If my guards catch you outside, you will be beaten to within an inch of your life. No exceptions! This will be a fair competition! Same as last year and the year before! I've got the scars to prove it! I bid you all an exuberant and exaggerated farewell, pilots. Tonight, sleep like geese. And tomorrow, soar like eagles! <laughs> Door to the hotel.
hotel. This isn't a jail. But you heard the Baron. Once outside, things will get dangerous. inside the Baron's hangar with that drawbridge up. There should be a release lever on top of the castle somewhere. Sorry, pal, but you're the best climber we got. The competition starts tomorrow. Where are all my guards? Sleep? Watching TV? I bother paying them at all. They won't allow them out like common tourists. I tell you, Kristoff, the Aces pilots get better and better. We've got some real competition on our hands this year. Well, I'm not saying it's too much for Team Black Baron. No, 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 no. We've done a fine job for you. Our pilots are in Sly! Hey, Sly! Sly, are you out there? Nope, sorry. Just us Black Baron goons. Throw the switch and lower the drawbridge so that I can get up there. Sorry, pal. I don't see any switch. But, but, but there just has to be a switch. I can't get in the Baron's hangar from down here. Hold on. I got an idea. It's gonna fall. Medieval, but effective. Thanks, pal. Sure thing. See you back at the safe house. should be locked behind one of the paintings in this hangar. Attention! Attention, Castle staff! We've got a big, big day tomorrow in the first round of the Aces competition, just 12 hours away. You've all done a superlative job preparing for the event, and this year promises to be the best dogfighting action we've ever seen. However, I cannot stress enough that I must wait. You've all been hired to help me achieve victory. If in fact the unthinkable happens and Team Black Baron loses, I'm going to dismiss the lot of you and start clean with a new staff. Am I making myself clear? Leave nothing to chance. No outsider is to enter the castle. No one is to go near our planes. If we lose, if I lose.
Okay, fellas. According to the Aces flight lineup, we'll be flying against Team Iceland and Team Belgium in tomorrow's semi-final round. As you're all aware, we've only got a single plane, while our opponents will be flying 15 apiece. You got that, guys? That's 30 to 1 odds against us. In order to give us a fighting chance, we'll need to pit these two teams against each other. First, Murray and Sly will paddle through the sewers beneath town to get access to an air vent leading into Team Iceland's hotel room. Steal one of their trademark Viking helmets, then head over to Team Belgium's hangar. Vandalize one of their aircraft, then plant the helmet in order to frame Team Iceland for the damage. Next, Murray and I will steal one of Team Belgium's monogrammed handkerchiefs. Meanwhile, the Guru will break into the Team Iceland supply truck, carrying their lucky ice sculpture. Sly will steal the art and then place the handkerchief insinuating Team Belgium for the crime. Get it? We frame both teams so they'll be gunning for each other and not Sly in the semifinals. All the while, I'll be setting up defenses around the Team Cooper air hangar. You never know when one of the other teams might come looking to do us some harm. Team Iceland has already gone to sleep. Time to borrow one of their Viking helmets. Why do you need me? Just have Sly pick the lock to the door and steal the thing. This is a delicate business. We're trying to frame Team Iceland for a crime they haven't committed. If there's any evidence of their door being forced, people might believe that they're innocent. Man, you've gotten devious over the years. So, uh, how are we supposed to get inside? There are some sewer pipes beneath town that should connect up with the ventilation system of the hotel. Sly scrounged a raft for the trip, but be careful. Other pilots have caused trouble down there in the past, and the Baron is sure to have set up some security. I get to row a boat? Nautical! Use the left analog stick to steer the raft. Press the X button to row forward and the square button to row backwards. Hotel ventilation system. Murray, stay and guard the boat.
nice work. You're almost there. Be careful not to wake these guys up. They're a paranoid group, and have probably set up some crude burglar alarms. Change the position. We need to escape through another tunnel. But fear not, the Murray has an unnatural sense of direction. Nice job. You really showed some finesse with those oars. The Murray is, and always has been, finesse. Uh, yeah. You good to plant this helmet on the Belgian plane? Can do, pal. Can do with a vengeance. Like these lasers might roast my hulking bulk. 
true. You'll have to compact yourself using your ball move to travel safely beneath the laser grid. Check! You'll need to use your charged ball attack to take out the anchors. Go into ball form and quickly tap the square button to build up force. Then strike! Halfway there! That blade looks ready to fall! Just one more excellent work! Plant the Viking helmet and the Belgians are sure to blame Team Iceland! Murray, I've been working to get our hangar security devices online, and they're almost operational. Unfortunately, my internet pal Penelope heard a rumor that a rival air team might be stopping by to do mischief to our plane. Mischief makers? Coming here? If you could stand watch while I finish getting the systems online, that would be great. Fear not, Brainiac chum. You'll be safe while my fists are on... Duty? Greetings, troglodytes! Didn't think I forgot about Mesa City, did you? I figure you joints let me smash up your aeroplane and we're even. You and what army, dumb guy? Army? Oh, oh yeah? Okay, boys. I paid you up good enough. Time to crack some skulls. You can't hurt Mugshot with your fists. Try using the switch in the middle of the hangar. <laughs> oh, not the bread basket! <laughs> That's smart! <laughs> Good gosh, a golly! I can take it all day, lightweight. Keep it coming! I'm a brick wall! <laughs> oh! Right in the solar plexus! Don't think this is over, Meatball! You're not untouchable! This is just the beginning of a really bad day! making idle threats. I'm reading multiple hostiles moving through the sewers toward our position. Fortunately, my security devices are almost online. I'll just have time for a quick test. Let's see, I can switch between computers by moving the left analog stick. And now to test the security by pressing the triangle button, circle button, X button or square button. I can activate the traps for the currently selected sewer. Hmm, they appear to take a few seconds to recharge after being triggered. Looks like they're working perfectly. And just in time, too. Murray, they're upon us. If one gets through my traps, you'll have to take him out. Got it. The Cooper plane is as safe as a baby in its aircraft hangar crib. Get from 
on the right. We stopped that group, Murray, but it looks like more are on the way, and they're packing explosives. Shot will need a lot more than muscle to intimidate us. Looks like he's got muscle and mortar fire. Maybe it's time I brought in some backup. Just hope she's monitoring the ham radio frequencies. Penelope, do you read me? Are you out there? I read you, Bentley. Oh, uh, this is sort of an awkward first face to face, but. But your hangar is getting attacked by some traitorous paid off Black Baron goons. Don't worry, I won't let those honorless double crossers hurt your team's plane. Is your RC chopper operational? Affirmative. It's deployed and airborne. You're a heck of a woman. I know. That's what my homepage says.
sexy pilot I've ever seen. Ah, uh, those thugs deserved it. No one sells out the Black Baron and walks away scot free. <laughs> tomorrow. I've given the drivers some bad directions, so they should be going around in circles for hours. We need you to get inside that truck, steal the sculpture, and plant some evidence implicating Team Belgium. Good thinking. Team Iceland won't be gunning for me if they think the Belgians stole their lucky hunk of ice. Well, that's the idea. Now the first thing to do is steal one of Team Belgium's official gold lace monogrammed handkerchiefs. Murray will head inside and get one of those stodgy Belgians laughing. They're notoriously stone-faced. Then I'll move in and steal the handkerchief. Seems like getting inside that truck might be a good job for the guru. He could use some of the guards' heads to bash in the back doors. Agreed. I'll make sure he's in position. Okay, Murray. No pressure. But you've got to find a Team Belgian pilot and get him laughing so hard that Bentley can make the pull. This is serious business, pal. Those guys are uptight. If they Hello, Belgium Flyer! Do you like comedy? I think it's time for Mr. Salty Pants to crack a smile! What do you say? What was Genghis Khan's favorite meal? The brains of his enemy! Get it? I mean, it's more weird and gross than funny, but I... I mean, you gotta admit, it's pretty weird. Why did the chicken cross the road to France? Because it wasn't turkey! And you see, the chicken's not a turkey, or a Turk! It's a chicken! A French hen! Ever see someone put their fist down their throat? Ta! -da! Hey, fish! Duck! I need help! Hey! <laughs> Okay, Bentley, it's go time. Make the pull while the Belgian's laughing, or he's sure to feel you fishing for the handkerchief. <laughs> nice work. Meet me outside with the goods. It's up to the guru now. Bentley's en route to me with the monogrammed handkerchief, but we'll never be able to swipe the ice sculpture unless we can get into that armored truck. I agree. The back door should be its weak spot. <laughs> 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 
Yeah, I'm sure the guards around here won't mind too much if you break the door down with their heads. Yeah. Bentley set up a waypoint on the truck. Should be handy. The thing's moving pretty fast. just powered up its automated defenses. You'll have to pay attention on your next approach. Could get sticky. Okay, Sly, your turn. You'll have to sprint hard to catch up, but jumping inside through the roof should be easy. time for the semi-finals. Stay sharp, Sly! Iceland and Belgium will be at each other's throats up there, but you're still outnumbered! Relax, Mom. This is gonna be great!
will be Bugshot himself. We need to remove him from the competition. Here's the plan. I'll challenge him to a fist fight out in the town square. Sly, you find and lure Inspector Fox to the same place. When the two meet, the sparks are sure to fly. With some luck, the big guy will get carted off to jail, and we'll have clear skies for the finals. However, the Baron won't be so easy to deal with. He commands an enormous team of flyers and has been known to bring in a squad of blimp gunships when things look grim. The answer to our problem isn't obvious, although it is potent. Behold, Lupus Gigantormus. I'll drug the beast so that the Guru will be able to ride it and take out some of the local guards, who also serve as the Baron's pilots. Obviously, the fewer enemy pilots Sly has to deal with in the finals, the better. Next, I'll hack into the aircraft control tower. If successful, I'll be able to intercept any messages the Baron might send to his gunships. All right, team, we've got all night to prepare. If we take this thing, it'll mean more than a trophy. Penelope is sure to join our gang. After her stellar work defending our hangar, I'm sure we'd all agree that she's a prime recruit. It's time we dealt with Bugshot. 
We can't risk him taking down the Baron before you in the finals. Not to mention he deserves a little payback for what he did to our aircraft hangar. True, true. Since Mugshot's assault, the Baron has been keeping an eye on him. We can't fight him out in the open for risk of getting disqualified. Thankfully, Inspector Fox is out in the field looking for us. I hear you. We'll set them against each other. Mugshot is an international criminal, after all. Carmelita won't be able to resist. My only concern is for Inspector Fox's safety. Oh, don't worry about her. She's more than a match for a meathead like Mugshot. Okay, I'll pick a fight with Mugshot and bait him into meeting in the town square for our rumble. You do that. I'll get Carmelita's attention and lead her back here to the same place. Agreed. I've got to hand it to you, Bentley. This is a really underhanded plan. Why, thank you. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Beat it, twerp. The Black Baron's been giving me the grill since that event in your hangar. Perhaps you'd like to take out some frustration by engaging in a physical battle with me outside in the town square. No way! I'm being watched here. That, and it wouldn't feel right pounding a four-eyed runt in a wheelchair. I'm sure you wouldn't win in the fight anyway. You've got such a long, sad history of losing to the Cooper Gang. I could whip your whole gang with one arm if you jerks would sit still. Look at these arms. I'm unstoppable. You know, I've been thinking about your appearance. Look. If you don't got nothing to say nice, and don't say nothing at all. Get it? What? Ain't got no sassy comments, smart guy? Oh, I get it. You got nothing nice to say, so you're keeping quiet. That's real cute. You really got nothing nice to say? That's cold. My head is spinning from your breath. What, do you gargle with raw sewage every night before bed? Yeah, you're half right. I find a nice tang to my bread. Helps maintain my poisonal space. Do you even know what I'm saying to you? Or are you too stupid to understand the words coming in through your ear holes? What? What's an ear hole? Talk sense, why don't you? Your mother was a broken down tub of junk with more gentlemen callers than the operator. Nobody talks that way about my mother. Nobody! Okay, little broken down runt. Looks like you're gonna get broken down even more. Town Square, five minutes. Please don't be late. Okay, Sly. Bugshot is on his way outside. Go find Inspector Fox and lead her back to the town square. Inspector Fox, still looking for a date to the prom? Quit running and I'll bend the persona.
blast it, Sly! Why run? Why not face me like a real man? Mess with me? That little punk is gonna eat dirt. <laughs> hey! You're that cop hag that busted me back in Mesa City! Mugshot, alias Two-Gun Tony, also known as Meathead Mugshot. Seven foot three inches, 324 pounds, wanted in seven countries with 13 outstanding warrants for your arrest. And yes, I'm that cop hag that put you away back in Mesa. Well, wise guy, lady, feel like going for another shot at the title? It's my duty to put you behind bars. That, and I enjoy making tough guys cry like the stupid babies they really are. I ain't no stupid baby! take all night. Oh well, I'm sure Cooper won't make his move anytime soon. feral specimen of Lupus Gigantormus. So, let me get this straight again. You plan on stalking that thing, drugging it, putting the guru on board, and setting the two free to smash up the guards? An airtight plan, I agree. In simplicity itself, by channeling the wild destruction housed in that bloodthirsty creature, we should be able to thin out the Black Baron's ranks. Which, of course, means fewer enemy pilots flying against you in the files. I'm all for evening the odds in our favor, but come on, this plan seems a little... risky. Not at all. I've modified my sleep darts with heavy doses of skunk bulb. It should be enough to pacify the beast, provided he doesn't catch wind of me first. Alright, that sounds okay. You can hang back and shoot him at a distance. Uh... Well, given the weight of the darts, I'll need to sneak up behind him and take a shot within a few meters. Meters? Quit trying to freak me out and put the guru on the binocucom. After I put the wolf to sleep, it'll be up to you. Fawada, hoja. Thanks, guru. You always know just what to say.
within a few meters behind the wolf, then fire. You'll have to get closer for a good shot. He's caught your scent. Get out of there. Nice. That hit home. Nice one, Bentley. Bullseye! Nice work, big game hunter. The skunk bomb is kicking in. He's almost asleep. Guru, you're up. You should be able to possess the giant wolf now that he's out. odds tomorrow in the finals. into the aircraft control tower. It's simple, really. The whole system is linked through computer nodes which monitor the power generated by the nearby windmills. 
Seriously? All the power around here comes from the local windmills? I thought they were just for looks. The control nodes tell a different story. How do you plan to get up there? It's pretty high. My turbo chair has been outfitted with an extra afterburner. Heights such as that are nothing to me. Prepare yourself, computer. I will show no mercy. Good thing I've got hacker code linked to the right analog stick. This data stream looks protected. Hmm, looks like I might need to transport the circular lockdown code. Finally, some challenge. before my digital kung fu. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come, Grasshopper, kneel before the feet of the Master. Looks like they're going to put up a little fight this time. Digital black hole? Gonna have to hack around it. Another terminal terminated. Don't worry, my pet. I'll make this quick and painless.
Now for the aircraft control tower. Once it's hacked, the system will be mine! Auxiliary afterburner to get over to that computer. Jump as far as you can towards it, then goose the afterburner. Go easy. Aha! My final opponent! Looks like they saved the big code for last. Have at me! Wait, the, the code's unstable! Everything's speeding up! Windmill throwing stars, eh? This little system bug might come in handy. Thanks to our combined efforts, we are now ready for the final round of the Aces Dog Fighting Competition. Put on your helmets, cause it's time for Operation Turbo Dominant Eagle. In just a few hours, Team Iceland and Team Belgium will begin fighting it out in the B-Champs round. This will provide the perfect cover for step one of my plan. Sly, use the catapult and your paraglider to get access to the local gunships. Plant some tracking devices, then head back to the Team Hangar and suit up for the finals. Murray, you're up next. Use your rowboat to pull down the aircraft communication antenna. With it out of commission, the Baron will have to use an unscrambled radio frequency to call in the gunships for backup. If that happens, I'll be ready with our secret weapon. And with the tracking devices installed, I'm guaranteed not to miss. In the end, though, it'll be up to slide. This is a sudden death competition. The first team to take out last year's champ wins. That's if the Black Baron doesn't take out all the competition first.
Champ's dogfight is beginning! With these guys going at it, no one will notice as you slip onto the gunships and plant a tracking device. Sounds straightforward enough. Where'd you get these trackers? They look kind of funny. Best I could do on short notice. They're sensitive to extreme changes in altitude. You'll have to pull this job off at high elevation or it's a bust. Shouldn't be a problem. is all over and go easy on the throttle it's been sticking lately 
Quit worrying. I'll see you in the winner's circle. in pieces. <laughs> We're both still airborne, aren't we? The victor has yet to be decided. Then, let's settle it. Beware, my boy. I've trained ten years at fisticuffs. Pugilism is my passion. If you fight as well as you fly, this shouldn't take long. On go!
The Baron's mechanic. No. No, you are the Black Baron. Suppose someone was bound to find out sooner or later. I guess I'm kind of relieved. But why? Look, let's talk on the ground where it's safe. Quite a revelation. Penelope and the Black Baron were one and the same. But before we could even process this turn of events, we were rushed to the winner's circle. Somehow, against all odds, we become this year's champions. There was a bit of an awkward moment between Bentley and Penelope. I guess the photos they'd sent each other over the internet were a bit exaggerated. That night, Penelope explained that the disguise was invented to get her past the dogfighting league's strict age requirements. However, after winning, the Baron became a celebrity, and she found herself putting on the costume more and more often. But now, with the Black Baron out of the picture, she was free to take up a new path, and she joined the gang without hesitation. The next day, our newest recruit treated us to a week-long aerial tour of Holland. She was fitting in just fine. analysis of Dr. M's fortress, Bentley came to the difficult conclusion that his demolition skills just weren't going to be enough. If we wanted to get inside the Cooper vault, we'd have to recruit a full-time demolition specialist. However, Bentley's proposed candidate was a shock. My old enemy, the Panda King. As a member of the original Fiendish Five, he had a part in taking out my dad and stealing pages from the Thievius Raccoonus. Eventually, I caught up with him, and I claimed back what he had stolen. There was no way I was gonna let that monster on my team, but Bentley was firm. He discovered the Panda King had left his life of crime and was now a monk living the life of quiet meditation high up in the mountains. I wasn't at all convinced, but there was no denying that he had the skills we needed if we were to succeed. So the gang packed up, put on our disguises, and headed east to China.
Stay sharp, team. For all we know, the Panda King's just as dangerous as ever. How can you say that? Just look at him! Have you ever seen someone more at peace with the world? I'll admit, he does look kind of zen out. Ah, uh, Mr. King! Honorable Panda King, we humbly wish to speak with you! I guess he doesn't want to talk. Sorry, Bentley. Let's go. Be realistic, Sly. He's clearly in a deep meditative trance. Huh. It'll take some doing, but I think I see a way to get the team up to his shrine. Good! The walk up here tired me out! I don't want to turn around now! Man! I miss the van. We never had to walk anywhere back then. Okay, okay. Let's just get this over with. Murray, you're up first. If you could get to the top of that pillar, you should be able to use your ball move to bounce all the way up to the Panda King. Okay, bouncing is a lot easier than more walking. Seriously, you guys want to see my blisters? No way. Is he serious? Hubba da da. Hubba ha. Yeah, okay, Master. Bouncing, pillars, piece of cake. Ha, I will do that. I hear that. Sometimes you've got to be firm. No, seriously, was he for real about the blisters? Because, uh, I don't know, it's... Yeesh. Penelope, you're up next. I'm not sure if you're aware, but Sly could jump onto small points. Those bamboo shoots would be an ideal means of ascent if they weren't spaced so far apart. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if I can figure it out for myself. It's, uh, got to do with the ice. Okay, so clearly we need more points in order for Sly to ascend. The problem? Where we're going to get them. The answer? Split each chute down the middle, thereby doubling the points of ascension. However, the ice down there appears too thin to walk on, so there's no way to do it by hand. So, I'll need to use my lightweight remote control car to split the trees for us. Perfect! Well, that's it, exactly! Great! Anything for Sly. I love to see him pull off those athletic moves. Good thing I installed a turret on this little lady. Perfect for splitting logs. Sly, hope it's everything you could have wished for. Uh, thanks. It looks great. My pleasure. Really, <laughs> any time. Ah, uh, Sly, isn't it time you climbed up there and joined Murray? Yeah, sure. Whack the supports up on those pinwheels! Really? 
Pinwheel destabilization is the cornerstone of this plan! Jump into my hands and I'll throw you up there! I'm all done up here. Excellent. Now that the pinwheels are unstable, I just need to light them up with my darts. One shot per rocket should do the trick. Those pinwheels are about to go. Guru, feel up for a challenge? Huh? Well, that's right. You should be able to persuade the guards to help you get up to those rockets. Oh, hiya. work. That fallen pinwheel should serve as an excellent makeshift elevator. Hola, what is that? I agree. He's in a super meditative state. So let's just shout in his ear. Now, to break him out of this trance, we'll need to delve into his mind. A hacksaw, then? No! It'll require channeling. Hi, what that? Sly, sit beside the Panda King. The Guru will bridge your minds. See you carry the cane of the notorious Cooper Thief Clan. Have you come here for revenge? To steal back the devious Raccoonus? Whoa! This is just like the time I beat the stuffing out of you. Why should you care if I bury a few worthless villagers in the snow? You are a thief, just like me. Uh, yeah, are you even listening to what I'm saying? Insolent child! You shall pay dearly for your disrespect. Still, to honor your Cooper ancestry, I will send you to your doom with the beauty of my new firework technique. Flame Fool! Uh-oh. Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! Booming chop! Fiery wheel! Fiery wheel! Palms of thunder! Fiery wheel! 
Snap out of it. This is all in your head. My mind is clear, focused on your destruction. We both know why you're here. You're fixated on the moment of your greatest defeat. I beat you, and forever after you've wondered how it all fell apart. I hate you, Sly Cooper. You've ruined me. Ruined the Panda King. And I've hated you. But that doesn't make any of this real. Years have passed, and, and we've both changed. Come out of this trance. Let's meet each other as we are today, and, and let go of who we were when this fight occurred. You are correct. Forgive me. My mind is not always my own. The Panda King wasn't any more excited about the notion of him joining the gang than I was. If it weren't for the Guru, who for some reason really hit it off with the old guy, the whole deal would have been a bust. We could see the anger in the Panda King's eyes as he recounted how he lost a member of his own family. A daughter who was abducted by a powerful general from the Northern Mountains. She was to be the bride in a forced marriage to this unscrupulous ruler, and Panda King was exiled. We agreed to help him recover his lost daughter in exchange for his skills in the Cooper Vault job. I still wasn't convinced this was a good idea, but a deal's a deal. here is to retrieve the Panda King's daughter, Jing King. She's being kept against her will by this man, General Sao. A real key to this guy. During surveillance, I actually witnessed him kick a puppy twice. He plans on forcing Jing King to marry him next Saturday. Clearly, time is of the essence. Here's the plan. First, I'll approach Sao in disguise and attempt to get hired as his wedding planner. Hopefully with a man on the inside, we'll get some news on Jing King. Still, we need more information. Two of us will need to work together to steal a pair of twin keys and break into Sao's house of business. Once inside, I'll need to utilize some new technology to circumvent their ultra-tight security. Finally, thanks to Penelope's air sweeps, we've picked up an unusual radio signature out in the water. Someone will need to go eyeball the anomaly and figure out what it is. We can't leave anything up to chance here, or Jing King lives unhappily ever after. anything. Keep scanning. These readings are clear. Great snakes on a stick! I don't believe it! What? You found the signal? It's the team van! Last time I saw it, it was floating away on a block of ice in Canada. And now it's here! Highly probable, given ocean currents. I gotta go get it! Don't worry, baby! Mama's coming! Don't even think about swimming, Murray! That water's freezing! It wouldn't last a minute. 
but my baby! Hold your position. I should be able to drag the van to you using my RC chopper. Bless you, Penelope! Bless you and your bag of remote control gizmos! Sweet man! How I've missed you! Don't worry, I'll break you out of your icy prison! Well, 
such passion when they came for my little Jing King. Fear not, brave hippo. I will destroy the spikes blocking your path. Be careful with those fireworks, Panda King. A careless shot could hurt Murray. will not hurt that man. The Panda King forbids it. Hippo, you've lit the flames in my soul. I feel awake for the first time in years. No, thank you, Panda King. You can ride in my van anytime. You got shotgun for like a month. A great honor. I accept. General Sal's palace. If we're gonna get at the Panda King's daughter, we'll need an inside track on the wedding. I'm ready with my costume. With some luck, he'll hire me on as the wedding coordinator. Great. If you get a chance, try to score the rest of us some jobs as well. You can't have enough operatives on the inside. <laughs> You can't come out yet, my Blossom! But, please, my father will be so worried. Just let me tell him I'm all right. I beg of you, sir, let me out of this prison! Is this the way you woo your wife? You have shown me nothing but cruelty. I'm so unhappy! Greetings, Honorable General Sal. 
I have heard of your impending marriage and have respectfully come before you to offer my services as wedding coordinator. How insulting! I need no help? My apologies, I mean no disrespect. Given my genius, I am of course completely capable of organizing the event. However, I might be interested in employing a photographer. A day of such momentous import should be captured for future generations to marvel at. I have one of the world's best photographers on retainer. Really? Well, if he truly is world class, then he might get the honor of chronicling the event. However, I'll need to see some samples before I give him the job. Of course. I'll have him come by right away. You'd better not be wasting my time, wedding planner. I get very, very uncharitable when people waste my time. Okay, Sly. General Sal wants some samples of your work. I've placed waypoints in areas with good photographic potential. Approach the guards while in costume, and they'll probably pose for you. Good luck, pal. Midnight password. Uh, yep, yeah, here it is. Night, day, moon, moon. Sorry, just being careful. Listen up, meatheads. General Sal wants some pictures of his staff, so big smiles all around, or else. Great shot, but you'll need a few more before talking with General Sal. <laughs> A sunset password. Sending password now. Day, night, sun, moon. Oh, didn't recognize you. All right, you stupid guards. Put on some smiles and get in a nice pose. General Sal wants some happy photos. Get it? That's a good picture, Sly. One more should be enough to impress the general. Sun, moon, day, night. Yes, sir. My mistake. Okay, you two. Look happy. The general would like a nice couple shot. Really, Sly? That's some lovely photography. Show those shots to the general. I'm sure he'll be impressed. general while you're in there. It's always a good idea to study your enemy. Ah, the paparazzi. Will I ever know a moment of privacy? Make sure you get my good side. It must be quite amusing to observe the effects of power. Why is it that I'm always the center of attention? Oh, nice shot! Here, check out this pose! Impressive, I know! That'll do it, Sly. I talk to the General now while you've got him, but- Greetings, General Sal. 
As you have no doubt guessed, I'm the world-class photographer hoping to play a humble role in your upcoming magnificent wedding. Hmm. Let me see a sample of your work. I have a keen eye, a great sense of artistic value. I can tell at a glance if you're world-class. But of course, your excellency. Ah, uh, hmm. You have a strong sense of, uh, compositional regularity and, a uh, forced perspectivism. These are adequate. You may have the honor of photographing my wedding. A thousand thank yous, my lord. I'm sure it will be a wedding none of us will ever forget. records for the wedding. So let's get to pickpocketing those keys. I'm afraid it's not that simple. The keys are designed with a self-destruct feature, and the guards carrying them are in constant radio contact. I get it. If we steal a key from the first guard, he'll report it in. Then the second guard will destroy his copy before we have time to pull it. That's right. We need to steal the keys almost simultaneously. Since you're better at this than me, I should probably go first. All right, I'll take up position behind the target. Call me when you've made the pull, and I'll pounce. Affirmative. I'm in position for the pull. The second you get your key, I'll go for this one. Roger, I'm en route for key number one. second before the guards call in. Nice work! 
With this second key in my grapple cam, I'm all set up for the inner office. Sure you won't need my help on the inside? I'm afraid this is a problem only technology can solve. Right. Well, have fun with your, uh, technology. Don't wait up. This could go all night. kidding about the security in this place. Hope your grapple can can lure a guard onto that pressure plate, otherwise you're never getting into that upper level. him so he'll stay on the plate. All right, that opened the door to the upper office. Lure that top guard onto the second pressure plate and it's sure to turn off the door lasers. on the plate. Excellent. The way's all clear. Good thing you've got that afterburner. With nothing to climb on or to jump off of, it'll be your only means to the computer in the upper office. Thank <laughs> you. 
Don't be scared, little computer. This won't hurt a bit. The wedding data must be behind these firewalls. Base is wide open. I'm a capital G genius. <laughs> the operation is running smoothly. With access to General Sal's database, and Sly successfully hired on as the wedding photographer, we are ready to make an attempt for Jing King. Given the complexity of Sal's downloaded data, I've programmed my ThiefNet computer to automatically analyze the... What the... General Sal? He's... He's got my computer! Our whole plan is on that computer! How did he find us? We're doomed! Bentley, calm down. I need you sharp. Listen up, team. This Sal character is more clever than any of us thought. As of this moment, we have one goal. Steal back the ThiefNet computer. The time for subtlety is over. Bentley, break into the palace and ransack his personal computer. He might have linked it to ours. If so, that's where we'll start. The rest of the team will stand ready. No telling where this might take us. Sal's computer has to be around here somewhere. No need to be sneaky. Let's just get the job done. Okay, Sly, I found his personal computer. This should be easy. Standard OS security, no problem. Security You will be terminated. He's got a defense avatar. This could get ugly. Delete the user. Defend the core. Destroy invasive code.
Aha! I think I found something! Hill's diary mentions a secret passage through the prayer bell. Then a walk across the heavens. You getting this, Sly? I'm en route to the bell right now. Better bring along the guru. This sounds like his department. It says here to stand under the bell. I'll need to set off the transfer sequence from here. Got any ideas about that walk across the heavens thing? That's amazing! Of course. If you need to ride on my back to keep the levitation going, be my guest. I'm not a big fan of falling to my death. No problem. Take a rest if you need it. I'll push on ahead and look for Sal. Getting some weird readings up ahead. Wanna use your optimizer goggles? Famous Sly Cooper. It seems you and your little gang were able to follow the trail I left for you. Of course, you'll be helpless without them, as you'll soon discover. I'm not ashamed to rely on my friends. Who needs friends when you can have servants? Who needs affection when you can have obedience? Uh, why try to convince you when I can simply destroy you? This sacred forest has been the stage for hundreds of battles, as my ancestors crushed anyone who got in their way. And you will be no different. Bentley, are you hearing this? What's he talking about? I've heard of these types of battlegrounds before. The energy from all the fighting that has gone on before strengthens the combatants, allowing them to soar for long distances. You should be able to fly all the way across the arena with one jump. Plus, you can probably change directions in the air with your double jump. Enough, Chitchat Koopa. Face me now, and prepare for the end of your legacy. Switch directions in the air with your double jump.
<laughs> Come back and take it like a man. Well done, esteemed wedding photographer. I'm impressed you lasted this long. Stop this, Sal. Release Gene King and this fight can end. No! Gene King is mine! Once our bloodlines cross, it shall be glorious! The Panda King in his day was magnificent. With the Tao name, a new generation of kings will be unstoppable. But she doesn't want to marry you. She's a woman. She doesn't know up from down. Once I convinced her father to take up meditation, she was ripe for the picking. I faced a lot of bad men in my time, but you, sir, are the worst. Oh, it gets worse, Koopa. Up until now, I've gone easy on you. But now, now you'll sample the ancient black art of the family Tao! You have won this battle, but the war rages on. Take your fool's computer. It won't help you. Jinking is mine. Jinking is a person, not property. And sorry, pal, but we're ending this right now. <coughs> beware, beware the power of Tao. <laughs> to retrieve the thief net computer. However, all the plants stored inside are now compromised. The wedding is still on. Jing King remains Sal's prisoner. Yes, we are going to free her, but that's not enough. No, for this heist, we really need to put the screws to this guy. He's earned it. So, we're cleaning out his treasury as well. A feat impossible without Murray's van. Unfortunately, all that time in the ice has ruined its polycellular battery. I'll need Sly's help to acquire a new one, which won't be easy, as the General's gone all out with security. He's even resorted to black magic dragons and hopping vampires patrolling the streets. We'll need to even the odds before the wedding. Sly, you and the Panda King will work to gather some fireworks and blow up the vampire's crypt. No crypt. No more vampires. Hey, Bentley, are you and Murray finished fixing up the van? I'm afraid we'll need a new power source. The old polycellular battery has lost its core. Okay, is there one around here I can steal for you? Penelope's aerial reconnaissance has located a candidate, but due to the delicate nature of the work, I should be the one to decouple it. 
So, what? Can I help out here at all? Stay close. I'll need you for charging the battery. Is the battery complete? Yes, it just needs to be charged. Seems like that might be a problem in these parts. Well, if we take it the rail, let's have it to them. <laughs> Hold it right there, Sly Cooper. Don't move or I'll zap you. Sorry, Carmel. Gotta go. Sly Cooper. Repeat. Captured Sly Cooper. Requesting extraction unit. Over. Nice acting, Sly. The battery is fully charged. Plug it into one of the main light outlets to stabilize it. Then we'll attach it to the van. But be careful. Now that the battery is full, it won't absorb any more of Carbolita's shots. No, really. It was an easy capture. I don't deserve a medal. He was practically... Thank you. 
This lock looks pretty standard, but I'll need some help carrying the goods. The Panda King is the man for the job. He's strong, good with explosives, and capable of dealing with multiple opponents. Once we get enough fireworks, he should be capable of blowing the hopping vampire crypt sky high. Look, Bentley, I know you believe in the guy, but I don't trust him yet. You don't have a choice. He's the only man for the job. I'll go get him and send him your way. This is it, Panda King. We need you for a field mission. Sly's trying to break into a fireworks cache and he needs help. Fine. I will be there presently. You may go. Look, I don't mind telling you I'm putting my neck on the line here. We're all counting on you. I will mind your neck. Hello, old friend. I am about to work alongside Sly Cooper, and I cannot carry you with me on the journey. You fool! This is your chance for revenge! He humiliated us, ruined us, made us weak! Humiliation was a crossroads. I have chosen to walk the path of humility. Humility that cost you your daughter! Destroy Cooper now! Without Cooper and his associates, I stand little chance of rescuing Jing King. Little chance! Allow yourself to dip into my hateful fury, and we can save Jing King single-handed. Such an action would cost many lives. Your path of moderation will cost you Jing King! Without Cooper, who would you have to hate? Your reason to cling inside my mind would be gone. No! If you killed Cooper, it is you who would disappear. I would take your place. Cooper is a teacher of humility. We have slain his parents, yet he manages to trust us. By studying him, we will become whole. I have no desire to join with my weaker side. You are failure. I am the strength that used to be the once glorious Panda King. You are strong, and I am humble. But only through cooperation will we become the father Jing King needs. The yin and the yang. If strength were all that mattered, Sao would be an ideal son-in-law. Very well. Cooper shall live. Fear not, Cooper. I shall not kill you this day. Um... Ditto. I know you've been out of the game for a while. Maybe you should use this time to brush up on your old skills. First things first, here's how to fire at objects. Center the camera on a target and hold down the L1 button to load fire. Release the button to launch them. Excellent! Remember to sweep over multiple targets with the right analog stick. You've always been able of attacking large groups of foes. Now try targeting these two vampires at different locations. Nice! The more fireworks you prime, the more damage they'll do! A full 
whole pack does double damage. Now try to destroy that gravestone by focusing your full power on it. Such power! Looks like it was enough to wake up the undead guardians. Target them all at once with a full pack. That should be enough to destroy them. Great, now you're ready for anything. Sly must be done by now. He'll need help carrying the fireworks from the cache. Okay, I'm done with this one. You handle the stuff, I'll head out for the next cache. Excellent. I'll make good use of these. One more cash to go. We're doing great. Vampires! My scanners! They're everywhere! 
we're making a pretty good team. This is the last of the fireworks. Put them in the crypt and kaboom! No more hopping vampires. Yes, this ordinance will suffice. They're gonna be fangs everywhere! Right. I'll just head back to the safe house. Yes, do that. Take those fireworks to the vampire's crypt and blow it sky high! strong enough to open it, crack the lid, and I'll be right down to reroute the wires. With some luck, we'll be able to listen in on Sal's conversations. Sure, Penelope. Easy for a muscle man like myself. Just keep clear and let old Mercules work. That's bad gas. This is all my fault. Hang in there, Murray. I'm coming. Quickly, take the foreigner to the highest peak and blast him to pieces. Be sure to leave a trail of gunpowder. All must be done in accordance with tradition or the ancestors will be displeased. I'm too late. He's as good as dead. No, there's still a chance. Use your RC car. It should be fast enough to beat the lit fuse up the mountain. It's the only tool we've got to save Murray! Use your turn to blast through these crumbly rocks! You've got to drive fast to save Murray!
but Murray lives! I will never forget you, brave little RC car! We will be friends forever! You can ride in my van! Time to free Jing King, rob General Sal blind, and send him up the river. I call it Operation Wedding Crasher. This will be a multi-pronged job, with two groups working simultaneously. I'm sure I don't need to stress the importance of the schedule to anyone. First, Sly, Penelope, and Murray will make their way past all the security in Sal's treasure temple, and then drop the goods off to me for loading into the van. Meanwhile, the Panda King and Guru will tunnel beneath the palace, creating an escape route for Jing King. Sly, you'll have to pull double duty, taking care of any topside security designed to detect subterranean assaults. Once you guys are done, I'll use my grapple cam to lure Inspector Fox into the palace, where we'll try to get her to take Jing King's place. Then, with the girl and loot in hand, we run for it. I'm in green light position. Let's get a roll call. Ready! In position! I'm pumped! Hi, die, die. I too stand ready. Even if we fail, it will have been an honorable effort. Jing King is not forgotten. All right, everyone. Let's go. Penelope and Murray are relying on your second story work to be let in. They should be in position by the front door. Opening the door for a lady. And some say chivalry is dead. I try to show my proper respect. You guys gonna be okay in here? The security's tight. Yeah, we're fine. You'll need to get moving if you're going to make your rendezvous with the Panda King and the Guru. Always a slave to the schedule. That's me. What's the plan? According to the blueprint, there's a security computer on the far side of the room under the dragon statue. I should be able to destroy it with my RC car, provided I don't trip any of the blue security beams along the way. Blue security beams? Oh man, this is tense!
should be going away. They must have another computer or something. But there was only supposed to be one. The security nodes are still active. If that second computer fully boots up, there's no way we'll get in. Now, LP, I've been doing this a long time. If there's one thing I've learned, it's that when the plan gets messed up, always fall back on the golden rule. Yeah? What's that? Break stuff! You, you're you right! If I can destroy all the security nodes before the other computer comes online, that laser door should deactivate. Less talk and more breakery! I don't have much time! good at breaking stuff. I, uh, I, I can respect that. Thanks, pal. Let's get that treasure. Looks like a double lever trap door. Call it out. I'm ready. On my three. One, Two, three. Dragons? I got them. Okay, let's try it again. One, two, three. Yes, we're in. What do you see? Is it awesome? There's plenty of loot, but the foundation looks rotted out. Totally unstable. Hey, Murray, Sal's on his way to your position. How'd you come in with the treasure? We're doing awesome! Stand aside, Penelope! Cannonball! No way! Uh-oh. Always a slave to the schedule. That's me. The Panda King and the Guru are in position beneath the palace. Once you're inside, they'll start blasting. Might as well do it with style. Okay guys, I'm here topside. The bases around you are used in an ancient Chinese security technique to detect subterranean thieves. Our tunneling to free Jing King will shake the palace. I get you. If any of the vases tip over, it'll trip an alarm. Correct. Don't allow them to fall. I am putting my trust in you, Sly Cooper. We'll get Jing King. I promise. Hava da hava da. The Guru's right. Let's get this show on the road.
success. We're directly beneath the bridal chamber, just a few inches from Jing King. Hear that, Bentley? You're up. Lure Carmelita with your grapple cam to the front of the palace. I left her a calling card and I'm sure she'll see it and come inside. Then, it's time for a little subterfuge. Oh, and keep your position on the stilt platform. You're on point for the treasure drop. have to brag even when they're running away. Oh, Father! You have rescued me from General Sao! I was beyond hoping for such a thing! Yes, my daughter. You are safe. Heads up, Sly. You've got company. Okay, uh, Bentley, Secret Plan Alpha is underway. You know the one where I disguise myself as General Sal and steal the Veiled Bride during the wedding ceremony? Yeah, make sure the whole gang's there. Okay, uh, I'm headed to the rendezvous now. Over and out. Sly Cooper and his secret plans. Who's this Veiled Bride he's so interested in anyways? Well, he's not the only one who can play the disguise game. I'll give him and his gang a shotgun wedding they'll never forget. What strange rumbling have disturbed my meditation? And on the very eve of my wedding? Do not worry, my bride. I will not let anything prevent our love from blossoming, not even your misguided attempts to escape. Ah well, perhaps my meditation will be more focused amid the splendor of my treasure temple. Carmelita took the bait. Where are you guys at with Jing King? We're in the van, waiting for the treasure and escape. Hey, Murray. Sal's on his way to your position. How'd you come in with the treasure? We're doing awesome! Stand aside, Penelope! Cannonball! No, wait! Uh-oh. Okay, guys. Parachute down the treasure to me. I'm ready!
family temple destroyed. Never have I suffered such an outrage. You shall pay. Eat it, Sal. I broke your temple, and I'll break your face for messing with the Cooper gang. You cannot hurt me. Oh, yeah? Heads up, Emily. Treasure chest coming down. The outrage. Stone dragon of the temple. I summon you from rock to flesh. Aid the family Tao in this hour of need! Sweet strawberry shortcake! No! Let go of me! Ha <laughs> ha! The Tao line is master in this place! Hear me, Sly Cooper! My lineage surpasses yours in every way! It's not about the family name, pal. It's what you do with it. Slide! Hey, I broke my palm on one of these wedding fireworks, and I gave you... Slide, help! Back to the guy around, you will let go! Feel like making an exit? My hero. I still win, Cooper. You might have stolen my treasure and thwarted my dragon, but I still have the bride. Jean King is mine. General Sal had his wedding right on schedule. Everything was as he'd arranged, except the bride came as kind of a shock. Carmelita was a little disappointed it wasn't me she busted at the altar, although I doubt she minded taking Sal into custody. He did, after all, plague the streets with the undead. From what I hear, the locals were happy to see him go. We dropped off Jean King with her aunt. The Panda King insisted that she be safe there and that he needed to pay off his debt to the gang. I was still wary, but there was no denying that his skills would come in handy. 
Needless to say, we lived it up in the back streets of Shanghai. What kind of gang of thieves would we be if we passed up on recreation like that? We got the message late one Saturday night. Dimitri was calling in the favor I promised him back in Holland. He gone ahead and booked the whole team passage under assumed identities to none other than Blood Bath Bay, easily the most lawless town on earth. It's home to a group of cultural hermits who doggedly maintain the ways of their pirate forefathers. The cruise over gave us some time to get the rundown from Dimitri. I guess his grandfather, Remy Lesto, was a pioneer in deep sea diving. He'd made a fortune looting undersea wrecks. Although his luck ran short when a young cutthroat by the name of Black Spot Pete stole not only his loot. But his precious diving gear as well. A broken man, Remy retired from treasure hunting and eventually started a family. Dimitri, growing up on his grandfather's stories, dreamed of one day recovering the gear. So that was our task. We've been called in to get our hands on this miraculous diving equipment. Not all bad, really. If things go our way, the team might get a frogman out of the deal, which Bentley figures will be a big help cracking the Cooper vault. That Bentley, always thinking. I didn't think pirates could get that old. Thought scurvy would get him or something. Don't lower your guard for an instant. All pirates are killers, plain as that, and they don't trust outsiders at all. How's your pirate accent? Arr! I forgot me number two pencil for the Scantron test. Joke all you want, but that guy won't help us out until you've earned his trust. Black Spot Pete, I've come to talk of treasure, a subject I hear you're familiar with. Treasure, I. But I won't chat with the likes of you. So blessed a subject. Get out of my sight, land lover. All my years, I only spoke of the gold and kindness with me partner. Can't tank on a stem. Maybe we can work out a bargain. Shut your mouth, whole lover. I've caught it with me cutlass. Hard on the tonsils, I assure you. Salt of the earth, that black spot, Pete. It's clear to get anywhere with the old coot. We'll need to fool him into thinking that you're cantankerous, Tim. What happened to Tim anyway? His lieutenants mutinied on the old guy and divided the plunder, including his captain's outfit. This is the only real pirate town left. They must be around here somewhere. You're right. That Stone Jake, toughest guy you'll ever meet. He took the eye patch. Hmm. Tough enough to take an anchor dropped on his head. Good plan. That'll do the job, matey. Stone Jake has a thing about monkeys. 
If you whack the palm trees, he's sure to come running. Perfect for luring him under the anchor. What? Be that monkey's... I've got you now! That person does it, primates! Simeon demons! Run with your opposable thumbs! Tricky monkeys! the second lieutenant. He's in motion near the overturned boat. There's the second lieutenant. You need to steal his peg leg. Peg leg? Seriously? Isn't that kind of... harsh? You'll need it for the costume. It's very unique. Look, what you need to worry about is getting past his bodyguards. I'll have to pick them off one by one. Shouldn't be a problem. Excellent work. You've just got one lieutenant left, Twitchy Neb. I'm afraid word's gotten out that someone is taking down lieutenants, and he's hiding out up in a crow's nest. Closing in. Stay awake. Keep your wits about you, Ned. Stay sharp. Yes. Sharp as an axe. Sharp as a pin. Sharp as... Ah! Oh, I know it. Tis true. An Asian of Thames come for revenge. Chase him down. He's got Tim's hat. Watch your style of you, young pups!
Avast there. You've got me with me back to the sea. I yield. I just wanted your hat. Me hat? That's what this be about. Take the moldy cut of cloth and away with you. You baboon face toilet. I've read about this, Sly. It's customary for pirates to engage in insult competitions. Just make sure you never repeat anything that's already been said. You take the first broadside, shipmate. You're a pig breathed, seaweed slurping cabin boy. <laughs> Uh, but methinks you're a pin-headed, knuckle-dragging piece of filth. You are a mumbling, twisted sack of maggots. That be true enough, but you're a parrot-loving, barnacle-backed anchorhead. You're a bleating, duck build slobber. Ha! You swear like a child. You're a marooned, cross eyed cow pie. You're a cricket sized, pus faced waste of skin. Ha <laughs> But methinks you're a donkey eared. Toothless bag of vomit. Oh yeah? You're a sheep-brained, scurvy-ridden whale fart. Ha ha! Cantankerous Tim, it must be you. Forgive this old sea dog and his sunburnt eyes for not recognizing you straight away. I've never met a man on land or sea that could curse half as well. Tell me, shipmate, why after so long away do you drop anchor now? I've come for me share of the treasure we stole years back from that Remé Lousteau fella. Twas a good haul, lad. Uh, speak of it while drunk off. <laughs> you and I burying the loot in the belly of Dagger Isle. Oh, and many a year I kept the map to the treasure hidden, safe as a swaddling babe. Arr, then let's have it. High time we dug up our retirement and lived as lord. It shames me fierce to tell you, shipmate, but I lost my galleon in a game of cards. And worse yet, the map was stolen by that terror, Captain Lefui. What? <clears throat> what? I'd have run him through with my cutlass before giving up so treasured a parchment. This Lefouy's no ordinary buccaneer, no. He's earned the reputation as the smartest man of the seven seas. The devil lives in yonder keep. Tis there you'll find the map, and your death as well. If you go for the treasure shipmate, you go alone. Missy Ferranti is alone behind me. Thank you, Pete. You've been a good friend. Aye, and you're still a skinny, malodorous, hairy palmed bottom feeder. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks to Black Spot Pete, we've got a lead on Ruddy Lou Stone's treasure. It's buried somewhere on Dagger Island, a landmass many leagues from our current position. To make the voyage, we'll need to steal a pirate ship from the harbor. No easy feat given the cutthroat nature of these cutthroats. First, Murray and Sly will steal a jolly boat and blast the rudders off any ships that could chase us out into the open ocean. The action is sure to provoke the harbor patrol, so be prepared for a sea battle. With them out of the way, no one can stop us from leaving harbor. Meanwhile, Penelope and I will work together to break into Lafui's keep and steal the map to the buried treasure. Once both objectives are reached, we'll steal a ship and set sail for Dagger Island. Then it'll be a simple matter of following the map and digging up the loot. Okay, Penelope, I'm in a position with your hover spectrometer. I'll launch the device and you scan for metal structures that resemble a safe or chest, anything the treasure map might be stored in. Roger, Bentley. Let's light this candle. Be still, my heart. She made an obscure NASA reference. Why do the girls always have to go for Sly? It's just not fair. What was that? I didn't reach you. Oh, nothing. I was just saying that we've got fair winds for liftoff. Let's do it! The data's coming in. It's caching in the spectrometer's matrix. <laughs> what matter of witchcraft is that? Ah, well, best to shoot first and uh, ponder later. <laughs> Ah, the pieces are still intact! The disk is shattered, but we can still retrieve the data. But it's broken! And I rig all my gear to self-destruct if anyone tries to take it after a malfunction. Hmm, the disk will destroy itself if someone tries to pick it up. Aha! What if we could read the disk's contents before touching it? Right! I could use my RC card and go out and collect the data. It's got the same code base as a disk and should be able to download its contents. What's this? This is the car to recover all of the data and then we'll know where to strike inside the school keep. I'm registering a partial download from that portion of the disk. The pirates are pretty keyed up after seeing the hover disk. They seem awfully scared of technology. Your RC car is sure to attract attention. Hold on, hold on. I got it. There's a massive chest near the top east facing windows. Let's go. Thank you. 
This Lil Fui guy is really on it. He must have seen the disc and raised all the bridges to the fort. There's no way in. I've dealt with guys like this before. They can't really trust their own men, so they always keep an escape route handy. You just have to look around a little. Wow, Sly's really taught you a lot. Sly? We're a team. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the brains of the operation. He's just a field man. Just the field man? Sounds like you're jealous. Well, yeah, I, I wish I wasn't in this chair. I wish I could run on tight ropes and jump on flag poles and all that stuff. But I can't. You can do other stuff. Sly can't rewire a satellite or write ASCII code. Sly can't even spell ASCII. Yeah, he's not the most technical guy. Hey, let's get moving. We won't find the back entrance just standing around. Oh, oh, sorry about that standing comment. Give me a break, Penelope. It's just an expression. be able to bomb the support to that upper walkway. Shh! That must be Lafui. Let's get up to where no one will spot us. Agree. Tell you something by thunder. That disc in the sky was just the beginning. But sir, tis gone. Them bridges is up and balls as clear as morning. Sure, sure, every man's entitled to their opinion. <laughs> but I don't want to hear no more of them. I can make Jones. Yes, sir. You're now promoted to captain of the guard. Th th thank you, sir. Double the patrols and keep an eye out. There's the storm blowing in. I'll be just inside torturing the prisoners. Call out if you need help. No, sir. I mean, I, I, sir. We can't get inside with these pirates guarding the door. Time for a little swashbuckling. a standard double button latch system. On three, in pirate. One, two, three. This must be it. I've never seen a security chest so thick with traps. I don't know. Looks pretty straightforward. If I had my spanner set, this would be a cinch. Really? 
Let's head back to the safe house and get your tools. I'd like to stay here if you don't mind and study it some more. Sure, I'll be back in a flash. I've got your spanners and I'm on my way back. Great! But I think I've already got it. This is it! The Dagger Island treasure map. Ah! Oh, my eyes! Oh, I can't see some kind of blinding dust. She won't mind if I take the turret off her car. Hurry, Bentley. I'm getting kind of scared here. Hang tight. I've got a new and improved grapple cam on the way. This dust is really nasty. I can't see a thing. So I upgraded my grapple cam with one of your RC turrets. I shall... I heard the bridges fall, but I'm not sure I can make it back to the safe house blinded like this. I'll make a bird call through the grapple cam speaker. The guards won't think anything of it, and you'll be able to follow the sound back to the safe house. Okay. Just don't get too far away or I won't hear them. Moving to your position. I gotcha. I hear ya. Sure. Here I come. Okay. All right. my way. Oh, oh. Okay, yep. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! Moving to your position. I'm in motion. Ah! Ah! I hear ya. I gotcha. Side and make sure that dust has no permanent effects.
Okay, Murray, I need you and Sly to blast the rudders off all the galleons in port. With their boats disabled, the pirates won't be able to chase after us when we sail for Dagger Island. What about those boats out there at anchor? They look ripe for a breaking. Don't worry about it. The pirates won't have time to row out and get them rigged before we're gone. Besides, once you start shooting at those rudders, the harbor patrol is sure to show up. That sounds like a job for a man of my many destructive habits. You said it. Take out the harbor patrol, and there'll be no one left to chase after us when we appropriate a pirate boat. It looks like Sly's done unlocking the jolly boat. Good luck, sailor. Okay, boys, Murray Rose and Sly mans the cannon. Hold down the R1 button to charge the shot and shoot farther. Let go of the fire. They look pretty well armored. Is this cannon gonna cut it? You're right, Sly. Murray needs to ram them with your jolly boat to knock off the armor. All right! I'm tired of dodging cannonballs. Time to crack some skulls, jolly boat style. Once Murray has knocked off the armor, you'll need to sink him with a well-placed cannonball. Run in fear, Harbor Patrol sissies. I'm gonna ram you into next week. Yeah! He's down the wood. He's playing right in the shoot. This guy's clear. Armor's gone. A vast back, sucker! All right! The team of excellence, Murray and his faithful gunner Sly, kick butt yet again! Uh, sorry guys. I wasn't aware the Harder Patrol had a cutter. You're not done yet. Gads, that thing is massive! Everything has a weak point. Just look at the mast. They've been patching it up for a while now. Sly's right! That mass will fall before our combined mightitude! No matter how many cannons they bring to bear, we will bear it! Not to sound like a wimp, but I vote we dodge their cannonballs. Or we can dodge! That works too!
Team Excellence does it again! Nice shooting, sidekick! Hey, we would have been sunk without your rowing. When you guys are done making out, I'll see you back at the safe house. Sheesh! I've been looking forward to this. Every thief dreams of one day stealing a pirate ship. I don't know what it is, but it's like a total rite of passage. This is gonna be great. As you'll be the first on board, you might want to keep your enthusiasm quiet. If the Night Watch detects you, this whole place is going to get lit up with guards. The rest of the team won't stand a chance. Come on, pal. This is me you're talking to. I'm like a fourth degree black belt at this kind of stuff. Murray will meet you at the Jolly Boat, but remember, keep it quiet! Okay... <laughs> Looks like they mined the harbor after our last boat trip. Must have really spooked these guys. Okay guys, the coast is clear. Come on up. Roger! I'll start rowing people over! Okay, the rest of the gang is below deck. Let's fire this puppy up! Once we raise the sails and get underway, it won't be long before someone on shore raises an alarm. No problem! We wasted that harbor patrol! The coast is clear! You guys did a great job, but they still have cannons mounted up in Skull Keep. I figure it's long odds they get gun crews into position before we're out of range, but it's worth mentioning. Then let's make full sail for the mouth of the harbor. If you guys are ready, I say we do it now. Every second we dilly-dally just puts us at more risk. Agreed. Murray, take up the anchor. Bentley, get down below deck and adjust the ballast. I'll hoist the sails and get this thing moving. Okay, Sly, you're in command. Sailing is easy. Hold down on the L2 button to turn left and the R2 button to turn right. We're almost out of range. Excellent! We've made it into open water! Fly! Keep using the L2 button and R2 button to steer the ship. The wind around this archipelago consistently blows from the south. Maintain a good angle or we won't be going anywhere fast. I'm Mark Dagger Island on the sea chart. Click the right analog stick to bring it up and get your bearings.
or the captain, turn our boat to give him a broadside with the cannons. If you fire at them from the front or behind, our cannonballs will do tons more damage as they travel the length of the enemy ship. Well, Dimitri, it's your loot. I think you should have the honor. <laughs> I open 
with joy. You Cooper gang is a tight groove. Van Gogh bullseye. The primo diving gear to accentuate my deep down diving style. It's so intricate. Your grandfather was an artist. I've never seen such fine craftsmanship. He had the juice. Check it. The gear even matches my suit. I can dance, dive, and accessorize. What else is in this chest? Aye. Let's get a good look. <laughs> Avast, lovers. Didn't think you could steal from the smartest man of the seven seas and not taste the repercussions. Ha ha ha! I might have been late for the opening of the chest, but I'm just on time for the stealing of the gold. Let Penelope go. We can work out a deal. Penelope be the lass's name. Purty as a sonnet, and what a rich sweet scent from the wench's hair. <sighs> Let's thump this chump! No, he'll hurt her! This guy's a killer! Hey! You sum me up with butter word! <gasps> killer! Away with ye! Back to your ship! This gold is mine now, for her death is yours! Take your choice! Guys, we don't have any options here. Everyone back to the ship. You can't just abandon me! Help! Please! I'm so scared! Penelope, do what he says! Stay alive! We will save you! I... I trust you. And I trust you still plan on logging back to your ship. Away with ye. Now! Clearly, the only goal at this point is saving our teammate and friend, Penelope. Left Wee's ship, the Death's Head, has sailed back to Bloodbath Bay with her on board as captain. Things look grim. There's no way we'll be able to sneak into the harbor. Even the backside of the island is inaccessible due to reefs. To put it plainly, we're in for a fight. Left Wee is an intelligent opponent, and we'll need to do everything in our power to stack the odds in our favor. First, we'll put Dimitri's new diving gear to use by salvaging some weapons from a nearby shipwreck. We'll need the extra firepower to deal any kind of damage to the armor and forced death's head. It'll also come in handy for our second objective, destroying the Red Sail Sea Dog Clan. They're a fleet of mercenaries on Lafui's books. We need to surprise them now while they hunt for us in small groups. If they ever attacked in unison, there's no way we'd make it out alive. And finally, we'll set sail for the misty waters inhabited by a sea monster the pirates call Crusher. Reports on Crusher are sketchy, but we might learn something by analyzing its technique. I know for a fact that all of Lefui's men fear it. An impressive and useful trait, given our current situation.
you're close to the shipwreck, drop anchor near the beach. Are you all set with your gear? Got the gear, got the macho swimsuit, got more juice than you'll ever know. Wow. I'm a hit singer with a bullet! Cool, daddy -o. How about you take your pimp self down beneath the H2O and get nasty with the scuba? Yo, with bling! Hey, man, you can try, but you'll never capture my essential style. It's like smoke, ungrabbable, and all over the place. But no matter nothing, come at me with some turtle talk. You've got your own flavor. Fine. Your objective is beyond the reef. We're looking for some more of these cannon blast amplification callers. We'll move the boat above the wreck and lower a basket for you to drop them into. Ooh, cool, bro. I'll cup the collars and spice up your basket big time. Solid. Hey, uh, you want some depth optimizers for your scuba mask? It might help you spot sharks. Hey, Submariner. Use the action buttons to move forward, left, right, and back. Hit the R1 button to fire your spear gun. Time-honored method to avoid getting eaten. 
Well, these deep, misty waters are said to be home to the monster. Keep a sharp eye out. Sorry, Bentley, but I can't see a thing in this fog. If your sea monster's here, there's no way we'll find him. Well, it's imperative we track it down and discover why the pirates fear it so vehemently. Panda King, do you have any fireworks that might light the place up a little? Make it easier to spot the creature? My fireworks are not flares. They burst with ferocious beauty and then disappear like the lightning. We should really get out of here. With visibility this bad, we might sail into a rock. The boat might take some real damage. Okay, now that's some real damage. The sea monster is upon us. Go below deck and placate the others. I will confront this creature with my firework artistry. Give a shout if you need any backup. I'll stand ready. Choose to face me. Behold the Panda King, your master! We're as good as sunk. Water's coming in. fireworks I will. I... They are all gone. Cooper! Your assistance is requested! I'm here. What's the score? Protect the vessel while I go below and hurriedly craft more fireworks. Sure thing. 
Bentley, you check out that fight? Crusher must be on its last legs at this point. I mean, what could he have left? I'd say about another hundred feet and a dozen tentacles. Just a rough guess. softened him up for me. That was a solid action reaction, bros. You two stands tall. Say, Guru, could you get inside this creature's mind? Oh, no, no, no. Hope it don't. That's a brilliant idea. But are you sure you can pull it off? Hey, Papa Honda. Hi, Papa Honda. Then let's do it. Just take any precautions you can. What's he trying to do? Getting us a new ally out here in the sea. Hi, Baba Daha! Master! Don't leave us! We're closing in on one of the Red Sail Sea Dog Clan! Beat two quarters! Excellent! We've got one away from the rest of the fleet! Make sure to board the enemy vessel once their mast has fallen! We need to find out the patrol routines for the rest of the clan! With some planning, we should be able to ambush them in small groups! Take that! Two arms! Their mast is down! Ram our ship into theirs and jump onto the enemy's vessel! Deal with this red sail captain and his 
mercenary crew is sure to surrender. Fellas, we're closing in on the action. It's a three on one battle. You're up for it, Sly. Use some sailing strategy and we'll carry the day. Thank <laughs> you. 
Davy Jones locker or raid the scoundrel for loot. Reverse Double Cross. Our goal, as we all know, is to save Penelope. Given her crafty nature, Lefwi has undoubtedly locked her up in one of his most secure locations. They are, one, the Skull Keep, and two, the Brig of the Death's Head. Our team is too small to assault both simultaneously, so we'll have to fall back on a little sleight of hand. First, we sail in and exchange broadsides with the Death's Head. Armed with the element of surprise and our cannon upgrades, it should be a fair fight. But remember, Penelope might be on board, so we cannot sink this ship. Once the masts fall, Sly should jump onto the enemy vessel and then promptly surrender. A necessary step for two reasons. First, that boat is packed with pirates, way too many to fight hand to hand. And second, it's the best way to get an audience with Lefui. Given his smug nature, he's sure to brag where she's hidden if we can get him angry enough. Got that, Sly? Irritate the daylights out of this guy. It's our best and only chance to rescue Penelope. Once he talks, we roll out plan A or B, depending on the situation. This Lefui is a smart man. Our only hope is to outsmart him at his own game. Battle stations, we're headed into action. It's gonna be tight sailing in here, Sly. Keep an eye on the rocks.
Boss are down! Ram them and jump on board! Really, Cooper? A bad choice boarding a ship packed with over a hundred pirates. Sure your cane is up to the task of cracking all our skulls. I don't know about all of you, but yours, I'm sure it can manage. Yeah. Restrain this man and keep your distance from the enemy vessel. This smells of lubber trickery. Take heart, boys. Been a while since we witnessed a good plank walking. Making me walk the plank? You're the pinnacle of creativity, Lefui. Not creative! I'm the smartest man in the Seven Seas, you... You slander scabbard! You've got a real knack for pirate talk. Put two nonsense words together and pow! Scary pirate name-calling. You might be quick with the put-downs, but who's got the hidden girl? Ha ha ha! Me! You'll never find her! I'm not worried about Penelope. A girl tough as that will free herself by tomorrow morning, then come and steal your wallet. Ha! That chickadee will never escape a skull keep. She's locked up in irons, and there she stays, until she agrees to love me, despite all my faults. Now be the time sharks launched on your parts! You're the captain. Step on it, Murray. They've got Penelope locked up in the skull keep. Check! What? The lovers get in away! After them, boys! Send up the signal flags! Tis all out war! Heads up, Murray. The whole town is trying to blast us. Drop me off at the dock. I'll make a run for Penelope. You keep the boat safe. We're gonna need it for the escape. Safe as a baby! Now get moving! Jump on the floating boxes! Penelope and I made a walkway all the way to the top! Penelope, that you? It's time for a rescue. Lafui. <laughs> He's good. Ha <laughs> ha! The land lover fell for it! Hook, line, and sinker! Thinks he can outmaneuver the smartest man on the seven seas! Ha <laughs> ha! Not hardly. First mate Jones! Aye aye, sir! Take a battalion of your best men and raid the Cooper ship. There's sure to be some lingering rats about. What? Uh, sir! Don't cut me off while I'm speaking, or I'll cut you off from breathing. The Cooper ship is making for the open water, sir. Oh, rats indeed. Make full say what we must, we got. If they make it out to sea, we'll never catch them. Aye aye, sir. Bentley! Slides all blown up! The boat is gaining on you! Keep it together and meet me at the mouth of the harbor. If I can get into deeper waters, I should be able to give this guy the slip. But slide! Keep it together! We're not done yet. 
blast! They'll make it out to sea in this wind! Jones! Aye, sir! Load the cannons and prepare to come about! If the breeze don't help, we'll fall back on iron and powder! Fire! Avast there! Afraid you didn't quite make it out of the harbor. <laughs> Prepare to surrender your vessel. Sorry, Lafitte, but I'm sure this water is deep enough. Deep enough to be your grave. Guru, crush her now! Oh, by thunder! Just crush her! Crush her! We're doomed! Ha, da da! Horidia! Good to see you, too. I'll focus on freeing Penelope. You take care of any pirates that might come up on deck. Use the left and right analog sticks to control your tentacles. Then hit the R1 button and L1 button to smash, guys. Deal with this guy. Aye, that you have. Set me up to think I'd outsmarted you, then pulled me into the deep water with this beast. I tip me hat to ye. You're the cleverest man I've ever had the pleasure of beating. Are you getting this line? Yeah, I've got some perspective on the situation. Avast! Guru, get Sly! He can't swim! Hi, shipmate, but who'll be helping? You. Nobody touches that turtle, but me. Me pirate flower finally blooms, yet he'd favor this cripple over me, the smartest man on the seven seas. Oh, I do like smart guys, and he beat you at your own game. You tell me who's more intelligent. <gasps> Be still my heart and quick me blade. Tis time for a duel. You and I'll make the mating dance of death. Stick to jump and duck. Ow! Yarg! Get back here! 
on the seven days. Lafree was beat, outsmarted by our own resident genius, who'd done more than just rescue a team member, he'd won himself a girlfriend. It was nice to hear him talk, They'd have these conversations the rest of us couldn't even follow. Far as I could tell, they were made for each other. Dimitri was in love too. The new diving gear had gone to his head. We were informed that he'd be our frogman for the Cooper vault job. Not that any of us had even asked him. For the first time in memory, Carmelita didn't show up and cart everyone to jail. Oh well, I'll send her a postcard. You know, I'd hate to have her feel left out. All these memories, they just bring me back to the same place getting crushed to death in the fist of some genetics experiment gone wrong. Not the way I thought I'd go out. Shame, really. Now that we've got this big gang... Gang? More like a pack of misfits. Either way, we've become a team. We had some real potential there. Could have pulled off some big jobs. Ugh, we were so close. The door to the Cooper vault was opening. But that Dr. M. If there's any justice, he'll get his. I just wish I'd seen what was in there. A stockpile of my family's accomplishments. Would I have measured up? What would I contribute? Would my father have been proud of me or ashamed? Funny, but here I am at the end and suddenly all I can think about is what a coward I've been towards Carmelita never took the next step. Looking at Bentley and Penelope, it's clear what life is about. If Carmelita was here, I'd tell her straight out how I feel and quit playing around. Put our professional differences aside and see if we can make it work. But that'll never happen now. I can't take this crushing. Just let the pain stop.
your squad together. We're about to see some action. Yes, ma'am. Lock and load, you apes. We're going in. Defending what's mine from thieves! Looked to me like you were attempting to murder that man. That man, please, you know this is Sly Cooper. You're as transparent as you are narrow-minded. Cooper is a criminal. I'm here to bring him and all lawbreakers to justice. I'm no lawbreaker. It was all self-defense. First things first. Put Cooper down and we'll talk terms. Sorry, Madam Cop, I don't trust you as far as I can throw you. Although, I can throw you a long, long way. Go and smash that woman, crush her bones to peace, and toss her in the sea where no one will ever find her. This idiot just brought it to me. <laughs> Poor fool. He looks just like his father. And he's just as dead. Sly! He's over here! He's still breathing? He's alive! Hang in there, pal! You're gonna be okay! We'll get you back to the ship and patch you up! suffered a major concussion. If he were up and about, I'm sure he'd want us to retrieve his family cave. Oh, crappy thing. Jump in, do the swim, and take it. Legit, eh? My big man, bro. Won't be that simple. That's an electromagnetic buoy. Dr. M has set him up all around the island to snag approaching metal boats. We just lucked out that we came here in a wooden ship. She's right. Get too close and your diving gear will magnetize to it. That's an excellent idea, Guru. You're the only member of the team who doesn't carry metal equipment. If you can convince some of the local sharks into joining you in an attack, it might be enough to break the buoy. All the time? Jump on the shark and possess him. You'll need to ride out to the rest of the pack. You'll need to jump from shark to shark to possess them all. 
After you've befriended them once, they'll follow wherever you go. Lead that pack of sharks to the buoy. Heads up! Looks like Dr. M has installed an automated marine defense system. You'll need to jump off and get on top of the buoy to activate it. That'll drive those sharks into an attack frenzy! Nice work! Find some more sharks and keep at it! Remember? I'll have Penelope prep Dimitri for the job. Don't talk like that. No one else could have got the cane off that magnet. You're a credit to the team. Just leave your shark friends behind. They freak me out. Bentley's tending to slide. He wanted me to prep you for the mission. We. 
The little dude makes sounds for a scuba. There you go, baby. Dimitri on natural. Woo! Your plan is what to perfection. My plan to get you alone in a swimsuit? Come clean, my lovely, and play your cards straight. These are dangerous waters. And I'm a big strong macho macho man. Okay, first, get over yourself. Second, I mean it, get over yourself. And third, jump into that water and find Sly's cane. It's the key to the Cooper vault. You can't lose it. So delighted from such sweet lips. I die, baby. I die for the love. <laughs> Quick! Grab the cane! I'm detecting some of Dr. M's creatures swimming towards it! That rude dude threw down heavyweight. I had him solid, but he ran, baby. He ran, and now I'm flat nowhere. You were magnificent. Alone 
against a creature trapped in an undersea cave. How about a kiss for Monsieur Magnificento? My lips are warm like bread from the oven. Slow down. Remember rules one and two, both of which told you to get over yourself. Both before my magnificence! Yum, yum! Give me that! I'm gonna check on Bentley. You have fun being you. I'm mad to the jack to the Iverson, baby! should be back in bed after the thrashing he took. Another blow to the head and your brain could snap. Quit your worrying. I feel fine. Did Dimitri find my cane? No. Dr. M managed to get away with it. Then we gotta go. You're going nowhere, pal. Any attempt on Dr. M or the Cooper vault will be impossible with these radar towers linked to the missile turrets. Wait a second. Penelope! Have you completed that work we talked about on your RC car? Yeah. Oh, I see where you're going. That'll work. Smash the drones, siphon their power, and fry the tower's matrix. Perfect. Let's get your car onto a drone patrol pipe. Not to be too obvious in exposing my ignorance, but uh, what in the world are you two talking about? Explaining it would include a lot of multisyllabic words. I could just show you. Bring on the demo. Panda King, can you launch my RC car in that pipe? Grr! With the fireworks, it will fly as the bird. Fly, bird! Fly! All right, my sweet princess of electronic dominance. Time to smash things up. Use the L2 button and the R2 button to activate your vehicle punchers.
You're the queen of radar tower demolition! rested long enough. You sure? This is my legacy we're fighting for. You think I want to sit this one out? Understood. The biplane launcher, although untested, should get you a lot. It's gonna be tough up there. Be tougher down here watching others fight my battles for me.
comes the big guns. And by guns, I mean a giant flying whale dragonfly thing covered in robotic junk. Wait, Dr. M is plugged into that monstrosity. Ah, the Cooper is skyward. So good, so nice. Tiny Feltness likes to play second fiddle. Stay here. Sidekick no more. That thing is launching seekers. You have to use your missiles to take them out. Save your cannon rounds for Dr. M. It'll work just fine on him. Just like your father. 
You don't know anything about me or my father. Really? Well, who let you in on the seat? This business, eh? Was it my old pal McSweeney, perhaps? McSweeney works for you? This was all a setup to get the cane. No, my Once upon a time, he and I worked together for your dear old dad. My father wouldn't have run with a guy who tried to steal from the Cooper vault, let alone attempt to kill his son. Time does strange things to people. Just look the real leader of your gang. Bidley. Whatever. We're friends. Equals. Then why is it called the Cooper Gang, you self-centered egomaniac? That's enough. <laughs> Time to meet the past. to head inside the vault, and I want you and Murray to come with me. We're a team, a family. We should do this together. Okay, be right up, partner. Nice! We'll have the Panda King give the van a boost! Stand clear, Sly! We're about to get awesome! The fuse is lit! Buckle up, Bentley! We're about to fly! Yeah! Well, this place is amazing! Yeah! It's gotta be like at least a hundred years old! An archaeological marvel! Glad you boys are impressed, because it looks like I'll have to go on from here alone. Do it, Sly. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. Hmm, could be dark in there. My ancestors sure knew how to decorate. Nothing but big piles of gold. This place was started by Slight and Common II. He built his fortune in the employ of the great pharaohs. That must have been around 1300 BC. Sir Gallop of the Knights of the Cooper Order, honorable knight and cunning thief. Salim al Kapar of Arabia. It was said that he had the stealth of 40 thieves.
strongest of the Cooper clan, Slay McCooper, could break any lock with a single blow. sailed the seas and stole from pirates. Guess I really took after her. in the Old West. the stomping grounds for the most gentlemanly thief, Thaddeus Winslow Cooper.
Besides being a thief, Otto von Cooper was a great fighter ace and mechanic. This must be my father's work. How am I supposed to get through this thing? He made this challenge for a move I've never learned. There's nothing like this in the previous Raccoonus. Come on, Dad. Help me out here. Nice work, Dad. This must be the inner sanctum. I wish Bentley and Murray were here for this. Do it, Sly. This place was built for you. We'll hold down the fort here. This is going to be the payday of all time! Think of all the loot piled up back there! Do you ever feel like you're playing second fiddle to Sly? Like he treats us as sidekicks? No way! Sly's cool! We're all in this together! Sure, we're all here, but are we equal? Who went into the vault? Sly. By himself. Watch out! Dr. M's goons? They must have forced the door after we opened the lock! Think of it this way, Bentley. If it were you in that vault and Sly and I were out here, what would he do? Stop these thugs and protect his friend. Right, and that's what I'm gonna do. Keep your head down, stay clear. I'm gonna smash a lot of skulls and I don't want yours to be one of them.
look like the last three they got. Or a couple of He's the last! Yeah! You're all knocked down, and the Murray stands tall! Like a freaking totem pole of strongism! Da Murray, you're much stronger than McSweeney ever was. That's right, Plughead! I'm like a semi-truck with its brakes cut! I don't have time to get into a screaming match with a caveman like yourself. Then lock horns with me. Think you'll find I'm a better match. I have no fight with you, Bentley. You and I are the same. I gather you were the technical specialist working with Sly's father? You knew Sly's dad? Quiet, caveman. The adults are talking. That's right, Bentley. I know the pain you suffer working under your inferior. It's no secret, I'm smarter than the other guys. But there's more to it than that. <laughs> like what? Like brotherhood. Brotherhood? <laughs> That's just what he wants you to think. It's a tool to keep you in line. Now that's the thing that keeps us happy and alive. It's why I'm going to stop you. And me too. Fine, Koopa Gang. I tried. Man attack! This guy's stronger than he looks! Need some help! Bentley, those statues look like ancient security devices. Maybe if you took the treasure off the top of them and put it on Dr. M's back, they might act. I pin down! Need to fall back on my grapple camp to deal with these goons. a meaningless gesture. According to the tracking device I planted on Sly's cane, he's just entered the inner sanctum. I can use the collected position of data to get through the gauntlet with ease. That hall's for Cooper's only. Maybe it's time for men such as you and I to change all that. He's getting away! What do we do? Uh, I'll think of something. Just give me time. You know something, Bentley? What? You think awesome. Thanks, pal. This is just... overwhelming. 
amazing. How did Thaddeus make a flying machine in the 1800s? Bet this thing still works. Oh, I'm sure it's operational. Dr. M, glad you could see all this. I know you've been looking forward to it. Looking forward to all this and your death. Come on, aren't we supposed to enter a little? I only talk with my equals, and Bentley said no. some moxie, Sly. I'll give you that. I don't know what went down between you and my father, but I'm telling you, it's not the same with me and Bentley. You might be right. He risked his life to defend you. I'd do the same for him. Funny. Your father was never such a good friend. We're all individuals. I might be part of all this, a member of the Cooper line, but in the end, I'm just me. Not Henriette, Thaddeus, Slightly Common, Ryoichi, or my father. Just lie. Please, keep your touchy-feely rhetoric to yourself. I can't stomach it. You cruise a bunch of dirty, attention-grubbing thieves. All of you, thieves! Hold it right there. Both of you thieves are going to jail. Nice to see you, gorgeous. You too. Oh, I love you. I might be beaten, but I'll make you suffer. Not her! No one hurt my criminal! Sly? Where are we? What is this place? Sly, can you remember anything? No. Who are you? You look familiar. I'm Inspector Carmelita Montoya Fox. And who am I? You. You're my partner, Constable Cooper. Well, partner, we'd better get out of here. The ceiling's gonna go. Haven't got much time. Let's go.
as Dr. M just stood there, unwilling to leave as the walls caved in on the vault. He'd spent his life lusting over the Cooper fortune, and he wasn't going to give it up, no matter what the cost. Our exit was a little rough, but Murray managed to get us out just in time to witness the final fate of the Cooper legacy. It was a bittersweet moment, the end of the road always is. We both looked on, lost in our thoughts, thinking back on all the adventures that had brought us here. The people we'd met and places we'd seen. We'd worked for a long time to get Sly into that great vault, and now its secrets were hidden again, this time for good. I could only hope that he'd found what he was looking for in there. We searched every inch of the island for Sly, retrieving the gang one by one, only to make the surprising discovery that he didn't want to be found. As always, he'd left a calling card, only this time, it was worth millions. The months rolled by, and when Sly still hadn't shown up, Murray headed back east to complete his training with the Guru. Without Sly as our leader, for the first time, we each had to step out on our own. A difficult thing, we'd been together ever since we met at the orphanage. To this day, Murray and I are still close. Recently, he's been trying to break into the pro racing circuit, stock van class. Things are looking good. He's got a unique talent for living through crashes other people would have found fatal just always bounces clear. And of course, there's Penelope, my new partner in crime. Let me tell you, I'm in love. She and I have set out on a journey that I never would have dreamed up while running with Sly and Murray, although I hope our paths will cross again soon. So while this might be the end of our adventures together, it could be the start of something even bigger. Time will tell. Literally. Cause I'm building a time machine to find out. Dimitri went on to become a celebrity skin diver. The ladies flocked to him, and so did the money. I got a postcard from him once, and said, I'm here, wish you were fine, like me. He's his own man. The Panda King returned to China and lived a happy life living two doors down from his beloved daughter. She, of course, was pleased to have him screen all of her future suitors. As of yet, she's still unmarried. The guru returned to the outback and took on some new Dreamtime students one of which was a high-profile rock star that brought a lot of unwanted media attention. Last I heard, he was hiding out in New York City. Figured it was the last place they'd ever look. Devil. <laughs> 